Hi everybody! So, I wanted to continue working on... Oh, thank you so much, Lydia! I wanted to continue working on the Niagara Falls area we started, but... I just have to make like the skyline behind it now, so I thought today we're gonna do something a bit different, so we're actually gonna work on the boardwalk in front of the island. Hey everybody, I hope that you're having a lovely night tonight. There's no news? We actually have Judy in our town now, so we're actually gonna go meet her. Thank you so much, Jonathan, for letting us get Judy. Oh, I mean, would it really be a stream if it wasn't struggling to connect? Oh my goodness, Lydia and Jerry's, you guys are always bumping into each other everywhere. Yes, we have Judy. I'm really excited to go see her. Hi, Lockleth. Hey, Rebecca. Hi, Caleb. I'm doing good. All right, so this back part of the island is still a bit messy, but I have, I've worked really hard trying to clean up Krusty Shell. Um, still a lot of chaos, but Judy should actually be living. <gasps> Flick is in town today. Ooh, we could try making a bug model. Oh, sorry, Sprinkle, I didn't mean to push you. Okay, wait, is she not here? She's not home right now. Okay, we have to go find her. A beach boardwalk. Yeah, I have started design- Oh, oops. <laughs> I've started to- Oh no, the flowers are starting to grow again. Oh no. <laughs> I was working on my island earlier this week, but I guess it's the chaos has already begun to return. So, well, I guess this is kind of what I started on. Um, for the beach boardwalk, so let me move this lantern so you can see. Hang on. I'm not sure about it because I don't really know how to continue it. I was trying to finish it up for a tutorial video, which I probably will still do. Like, I'll probably make like a cohesive one sit through, very well explained tutorial later, but it does take a bit to develop the idea as well. So, it started rainbow colored. And then it became darker, and now it's like pink and white, kind of like my secret beach, if you saw that before. And I'm just like, I'm not sure. So like at the back, I have these buildings, and you can see the top. I used to have a second row of buildings on top, so it looks like um, a whole bunch of buildings. But I was thinking of putting houses at the top, so it's kind of like a street. And then at the front here, I do have some little shell partitions, and just kind of like this little fence, but definitely a very sort of cute vibe for this area. Oh, there's a bug. Oh, I don't have a net. Okay, never mind. Wait, actually, I could have sold that to Flick for so many bells. Wait, I regret that now. Oh, you like the secret beach. Thank you so much, Savvy Sweets. Hey, Juan. Oh no, Ray. Oh wait, Kayla. I'm so sorry. I hope that your day will be better tomorrow, hopefully. We're all here for you. Oh my goodness, Aura, thank you so much. Thank you. I was thinking, um, okay, so that's what I was saying. I wanted to build houses up here. So I thought I'm gonna have like the street there and then I'm gonna have like villager houses here, like a second street. And then I'm gonna put panels in front of them to make them look like buildings, but they don't fit because of resident services. I can't fit a house up here. Oh my goodness, Abyss! Thank you so much, Abyss! You're doing this, you're supporting it while you work. Oh my gosh, you don't have to. Thank you so much. Thank you, Abyss. So yeah, I think I'm gonna be moving this entire boardwalk somewhere where there's more space. I guess I could. I don't know, I could move this, like the windows, I could move to the front and then I could have the wooden part of the path like on the sand. That's an option. But then there's gonna be like a weird gap, I don't know. Cause I guess I could build it here and then I'd have space behind to put the houses and then do something else there. And then somehow this connects to the front of the island. So like you run through here and then, I don't know what this is, the entrance. I changed this too, not permanently, but 
I made it like a lot darker and this is sort of like I was thinking about a vineyard while I was designing it so I don't want to I don't know if I want to leave it like this although this isn't supposed to be here I was testing out a pattern I was making for somebody last night okay wait hang on um but I don't know I love the purple hydrangea bushes like they remind me of grapes so I just had to put them everywhere but then if we go over this way here's an update on like the Niagara Falls area so I did finish this side and I added the floor lights to add a color to the waterfalls so kind of like all of the waterfall on the sides of it are done then I just have to do the top and also the force perspective behind it so back there we have a couple of like little buildings but then I want to add obviously a lot more to make it look like you're looking down on the Toronto city skyline and then on the other side here this is like the other arm of the waterfall this is what we did on the first stream but yeah I'm actually I like the view right here like um if I pull out the camera I think this looks quite nice like I'm I'm satisfied I guess like like that like very very specific way to crop it but it reminds me of Niagara Falls and that makes me happy <laughs> do you have a slingshot with you oh no wait I'm gonna go grab one also hi Spencer a skater park oh my goodness like a skateboarding oh my gosh there's a present right there okay wait we need to find the slingshot fast outdoorsy net golden axe let's actually grab a net since flick is in town and there's a lot of expensive bugs at night i think the slingshot should be outside we might miss one present though i'm sorry i always miss presents oh my goodness we're not playing the same game no we definitely are most of my island is chaos but that's fine let's see outdoorsy shovel golden axe outdoorsy shovel what is this a star net oh joy con drift okay is the net or uh, the slingshot is it inside this is also what I was talking about. I picked all the weeds and now there's weeds again. There's always weeds here. So like if you need weeds, I I can always provide. I don't know why they grow so often on my island. A skating park would require a lot of maps, a lot of ramps, a lot of maps. What? <laughs> it would. Oh, Megan, I missed you too. My favorite villager, definitely Flurry. I love Flurry so much, she's precious. We need Pave, that's true, we need to stay hydrated. My house, it's like, it's not a mess, but then there's a mess on it because I ran out of storage space. But okay, let me see, we still haven't found Judy yet, I just realized, we need to go find her. Where, what am I looking for? Oh, a slingshot. <laughs> there it is, okay, it was in my storage. We're, we're definitely gonna get the next present. And then we have a net. That, sh that should be fine. I do have Flurry. Oh, thank you so much, Karmiaoi. The amount of items. Yeah, it's- I haven't decorated at all on the outside of my island. Like, I mean, I have a bit. Like, we have, um, you know, we have a couple of, like, little areas. But, like, if an area is done, it's, um, usually got in a video on it, like a tutorial. <gasps> Look how overgrown that is. Oh no, that's sad. There's always a little bit of chaos here. Let's be honest. We do have some little heart ponds by there. Okay, let's go back to the front. I wanna put the Statue of Liberty here. It's gonna be part of this when I finish building it. But I don't know, are we gonna shift the boardwalk over? I also need to make my island more accessible. Like I don't know how to get back. I guess climb up here. I don't want to build too many ramps though because if I change the layout I'm gonna to have to destroy them and then that wastes money so that's that's a no oh Audie's thinking my meme shirt um sure yeah I'll, I'll take your meme shirt uh it's Judy with an eye Kermit a flower moving assistant Denise actually came to my island once to help me move flowers, which was definitely very sweet of her. I went to her island to help too, of course. Okay, let's see. What does the meme shirt look like? Oh my goodness, it's a cat with laser beam eyes. This is beautiful. Oh 
Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Thank you, Adi. Adi's the best. All right, so this boardwalk. Let me let me open up terraforming. Let's let's get serious here. Yes, let's start at the island designer. Top fashion sense. Yes, Adi just she really does know all the best outfits. So if I put Cliff back here, but that's gonna completely cover resident services. Like, do we want to just hide it? I really wish we could move resident services. Like, I feel like maybe there's some people that like the placement of it or like they chose their map for it, but the vast majority of people I've come across at least have said that they really hate where their resident services is. So I wish we could move it. Do you think Raymond is overrated? Oh, Adrian, that's true. Audie's perfect for the beach area. Um, I don't- I- I like Raymond. Like, I really like him. I liked him before he was, like, the most hyped up character in the game, but I still really like him. I think- I love, um, this is what I said in the Q&A, actually, but, like, the fact that he has heterochromia, I just thought was so cool. Like, we haven't seen any other villagers with stuff like that, like, just very unique type of design, so I like him. Also, his, like, businessman look, I think is really cute. Um, but then again, like, like, what is it, like, thousands of Nook Mile tickets to get him? Millions? So that's a bit much. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool, Orange. I don't know if I should fill in the area behind this or not. Let me- Basically, if I- if I fill this in, I can technically put a house up here. But, it's gonna, like, you can't- walk there like i can put houses here for decoration but you won't be able to visit them is that bad <laughs> like i i always say like i love people that have like their yards for their villagers i think it looks so cute giving each villager their own space and then i'm here designing seychelles like nobody can step outside you are trapped in your house forever <laughs> i don't know i don't want to trap my villagers but i mean it would be good for the design <laughs> oh thank you jennifer Um, to get terraforming, for me, it took about three weeks before I unlocked it. But you can get it faster or slower. I think also planting a lot of flowers and placing a lot of fencing is probably the best way to get it quick. A quarantine for the villagers. You can actually, like, I tested putting the houses here and basically you can put it here, but it's like one block from the front. And then if I put a ramp right here, it's gonna like completely make it impossible to get into their house. Which is kind of... I mean, you could use a ladder to get there, but like the ramp is gonna be fake, I guess, because it doesn't lead to anything. <laughs> oh no, I don't know. We'll see. Let's experiment. Uh, what are those lamps along the boardwalk? Uh, there's a couple. So the pink ones are the palm tree lights, and then the ones in the front are cherry blossom lanterns which you could actually get during wait can you pick up the clam through the simple panel there's not a clam back here how is it did you see that it definitely said giant clam but i picked up the panel not the clam i don't know what just happened okay well anyways um any tips for growing more flowers Oh, thank you for coming, Orange. I hope you rest well and stay hydrated. How many ramps do you have? Wait, there's the limit on ramps? Oh, I was not aware of this. I almost built an area with like four ramps in like one, one space. So thank you for letting me know that there's a limit. Oh, I love the new swimming feature. My favorite part about it, which I, I posted this actually. But the horseshoe crabs, I keep mentioning them, but like, I'm obsessed with this. Look, they like roll over on their bellies when you tap on them. That's so cute. Like you can give them a belly rub. Like this is, this is single-handedly the best feature, honestly. I love it so much. Okay, and then let's head all the way back over. Okay, wait, actually let's hop over here 
Let's continue filling in this spot. It's so weird though, because I see like a more finished part of my island, and then I see like a chaotic part right next to it, and it's just like such stark contrast. Oh, you're right, Rebecca. I should probably, probably fix that. Let's just, um, let's just put this on. We saw nothing, okay? We saw nothing. Let me put my shoes on too. My feet are gonna get like little pebbles in them. Although to be honest, in real life, I really don't like wearing shoes. Like I prefer to be barefoot. I don't know, just a preference. Thank you for coming, Nadia. Yes, nighttime. I feel like nighttime is just really relaxing in Animal Crossing, to be honest. It's pretty chill. Hey, Peachkey. On my map and my villagers. Sure, let's take a look. Uh, here's my map. It's changing so much every time I show it. Uh, the villagers are Megan, Audie, Gail, Opal, Judy, Marshall, Cookie, Flurry, Sprinkle, and Apple. Also, are we gonna mention the fact that like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of my villagers are kind of pink? Like pink, white, pastel. I guess Sprinkle is also like really pastel and cute. I mean, kind of all my villagers are like <laughs> pastel colored and cute. I didn't mean to do that, I really didn't. It just, that's who I liked, I guess. Oh my goodness, Megan, you need Megan. Megan's your villager. You guys have the same name, therefore you need her. If she ever um, asked to move out, I'm sure she would love to live on Starlight. Starlight's such a beautiful island, so I'll let you know. Megan looks like a Care Bear, that's true. Okay, Kayla, I hope that you feel better soon. Thank you for coming. What was I getting? Oh yeah, shovel. <laughs> I'm always sidetracked. She's your dream. I think there's a, there's a way you can get villagers out. I'll see. I'll definitely, definitely make sure to let you know. Um, Cause I think Starlight's a good home for her. Oh, a golden axe. That's not what we need. I like- I rarely chop down trees, to be honest. I just- I don't like hurting them. <laughs> Bolting pole, golden axe. Is this a shovel? Okay, there we go. There's a shovel. <laughs> I knew it was one of the tools. Oh, that's a good question. Who are your birthday twins? Like, do you know which villager shares the birthday with you? Oh, it's your birthday! Happy birthday, Peachy Squad! I hope you have a good day! Is it like, um, daytime or nighttime for you? Because if it's early in the day, I hope that you have a wonderful day today. And if it's nighttime, I hope you had a good day, and I also hope that you have a wonderful new year of your life coming up. Oh, thank you so much, Mary Molly. That was really fun. That was like a dream for me, to be honest, being on the podcast earlier. Like, um, I don't know, I loved, like, I just, that was an amazing opportunity, I'd say. Oh, there's a present! Guys, we're actually gonna get one of the presents and not miss it! Oh, this is so exciting! This is like the first time we're prepared! Look at that! That was so smooth. Let's see, what is it? A tulip hat! It's, that's so, oh, that's so cute! Oh my goodness! And we actually just got some Nook Miles. Over oh, shooting down presents. Gaston. That's cool. Gaston's like the the money yeah, the bunny with the mustache. No, Lily, you're fine. Your birthday twin is Zipper T Bunny? Oh my goodness. Wait, why the crying face? Zipper T Bunny isn't that bad. I don't know why, he gets a lot of hate, but like, he's trying his best. He's pretty cute. June? Oh, June's super cute. 
You don't share a birthday with any villager. Really? Oh, we can do that. We can play some KK songs again, like in the last stream. Like we can like take some song requests and play those. Where do you find friends? Um, if you join the Discord server, we have a chat for sharing your friend codes. You want to do a KK concert? Okay, let me let me pull up the KK slider. Let me pull up YouTube so I can search some KK songs for us. Hey Azul. Oh, you're having cake? Oh, that's delicious. You definitely deserve that on your birthday. Okay, I'll see you later. Let me see. KK Disco. KK Disco. Let me search this. Here we go. Oh, wait, it's muted. There we go. <laughs> yeah, Celia, I actually designed my rivers on purpose in a way where you could go fishing. <laughs> because I really like fishing. It's my favorite like hobby to do in Animal Crossing. And actually, the day that we got the game, like the day the game was released, the very first day, so March 20th, I made 200,000 bells just from fishing. <laughs> For hours and hours and hours and i got like a bunch of the nook miles achievements for catching fish just because there wasn't that much to do after you did the initial task so i just fished the whole time so yeah that was fun <laughs> thank you emma i'm good how are you doing <gasps> welcome christy you share a birthday with igly that's so cute my birthday twin is, um, is Phoebe. She's like a, she's a white ostrich. She's pretty cute. Like, I wouldn't be mad if she wanted to live on Seychelles. Um, I have an island tour submission thing. <laughs> island tour submission thingy with thing. So you can, s it's in the about page of my channel and it's also in the description of island tours. You share a birthday with Sprinkle. That's so cute. Sprinkle's adorable. Let me see. We need to... Do I need to extend this? I don't even know what I'm doing at this point. Do I... Let me, let me, let me get a house kit and let me try moving a house back here so you can see if it's worth it. I don't know. Like, I could move the area. I don't have to put it right in front of resident services. I don't know why I put it right... Oh, that's why I brought... Now I get why I needed a shovel. It all makes sense now. You get 50,000 bells from diving? What? Oh my gosh. Wow. Pearls? Yeah, I heard pearls are really expensive. They're really rare too. Okay, what are we gonna do here? Meme shirt. Why am I in here? Oh, a house moving kit, yes. Let's see if we can get Audie's house. Uh, yeah, golden panda. Sounds like fun. Pearls are worth 10k. Oh my goodness. I Someone told me that they were worth like a million bells and I was like, what? <laughs> I But 10k is still a lot. Okay, let's talk infrastructure. This music is such a vibe, can I just say? We're gonna do some layout changes. Let's move um, an island home. You should go find Judy. All oh, right, let's go find Judy. Um, we're gonna move Audie's house. Actually, wait, where does Audie live? She might not live in a terrible place. Wait, I think I'm supposed to move Gail first. Cause I know where her house is. I wish you could see a map to see like where, like what house you're moving. Oh my goodness, Wilbo! Wilbo, thank you so much! Wilbo has an amazing Animal Crossing channel. Definitely make sure to check him out. He does some really cool streams and videos and just amazing stuff. Great community. Highly recommend. 
Yeah, but thank you so much for the super chat. Still paid a few more bits, sorry. I don't hate it, though. Okay. Just, oh, wait. So oh, my computer just started playing one of Chase Crossing's videos. Whoops. I had the KK song playing, and when it ended, it, like, continued. Okay, let me see. Um, what KK song should we listen to next? Okay. What am I doing? Layout changes, yes. Which building do you want to move? A villager house? And see, like, right here, this is where we should have a map. But we just have a list. Oh well, we're gonna move Gail, because I remember her house. <laughs> oh wait, I don't even have enough bells. Sad. <laughs> Did he just say you have to have money? Okay. Um, let's go diving really quick. Do farewell. <gasps> Is Wobo streaming? Okay, wait, farewell. Here it is. This is such a calming song, oh my goodness. It is, it's really cute. All right, well, let's um, we only need a few more bells, so I think we can make it. We also have to find Judy, because she's just hiding somewhere. Not this way. I have no idea where she is, though. Oh my gosh, the flowers. <gasps> They're everywhere. <laughs> it's like, it's like a pretty completed area, and then right next to it is just like chaos. <laughs> I literally picked all of these flowers yesterday. Like, how? Not really yesterday. It feels like yesterday, though. They grow so fast. It reminds me of Diana. I I can see that. Okay. I think Seychelles has like really good soil. Like it has such good fertilizer. Everything just grows all the time. Your cake fell on the ground? Oh no! Are you... I'm so sorry. Play stale cupcakes next. And we're gonna play all the really cute songs. A golden water can. What am I looking for? Uh, why do I never know? Oh, Judy. I'm looking for Judy. Judy and money. <laughs> this is what I need in life. Um, here we have Gail. But where's Judy? Where would she go? We're just exposing all of these dirty areas of the town. I'm gonna make like a campsite area back here. I know what I know what I'm gonna do. I just need to do it, I guess. But where is she? She's not back there. Oh, don't run through the lilies. Actually, I'm probably not gonna keep that many lilies. Probably doesn't matter, but it's okay. Where is where is she? She's not at the beach either. Let me go, um, let's do like a little bit of diving to get some bells to move Gail's house. KK Disco Spring Blossoms. Spring Blossoms is a really pretty song too. Okay, now let's see Stale Cupcakes. Stale Cupcakes. Oh, Stale Cupcakes extended. Oh, you got a five-star island today. Congratulations, May. Okay, let's see. There's something here. Oh, a tiger prawn. Interesting. The only thing, if we catch a horseshoe crab, I cannot sell that. We need to keep all the horseshoe crabs. But everything else is fair game. <laughs> you have to fill your entire inventory with sea creatures. Alright, let's do it. Let's see. Oh, there's some bubbles. 
Okay, what did we get? A... Oh! <gasps> no way! No way, Pascal! I haven't seen him yet! Oh my gosh! Yes! I love him so much! Pascal, buddy! <gasps> hey man, about that scallop of yours. Can I have it? Um... Hmm... I guess, I mean, he does really love scallops. Thanks for your generosity, man. Oh, I'm wondering what would have happened if I just said no. Since you were cool about the scallop, I left you a cool recipe in return. <gasps> the pearls you need for- oh no, we need pearls? Sometimes you find them on the ocean floor. I'll keep my eyes open for them too, and I might even trade you one for a scallop. Oh, okay. So pearls are really rare, but you can trade scallops for them too. Now if you don't mind, I'd like to lay some truth on you. The deep kind. Yes, Pascal. Lay it on me. Feel this. Ant hills are just cities, but for ants. Yes, that is true. Wrap your noodle around that. Today is a good day. Can you still see him when he's floats away? Shouldn't he- did he just disappear? I remember um, in the older games, when he would float away like that, you'd actually see him like fall down the waterfall and like go straight up out of the town. It was really funny. I don't know. Pascal's pretty magical. I'm glad we got to meet him though. <laughs> he's wearing a beanie in the ocean, true. Go to the net, um, at the front of the island. Go down at the netting. Oh my goodness! Thank you so much! From Japan, that's crazy! Thank you so much! That's okay, Peachy Squad, thank you for coming! If you find a spider crab, don't put it down. Well, then I'm definitely gonna have to put it down. <laughs> I hope you enjoy your meal, Claire. Thank you, Rose Freckles. Oh, there's some bubbles. Let's go. Let's go investigate. So does Pascal go down to the netting? If we find- can we find like another scallop in one day and then get Pascal back again? Because he's kind of beautiful and- Oh, that's new. Oh my goodness, a pencil urchin. It looks like a ball of pencils all clumped together. Its handwriting is gorgeous. Oh, we got like a, a notification. Probably for catching sea creatures, I'd assume. Yes. That's cool though. I like the pencil urchin. The name is definitely very fitting too. You found four scallops, but he only came once. So then how do you trade him? Like, if you find a scallop to trade for a pearl? Or do you just not do that? Unless he feels like coming. He only comes once a day? Oh no. <laughs> it must be a waterproof phone. Okay, little side note, Gulliver. You know how his, like, communicator parts are always broken? Like his little walkie-talkie thingy? When is he gonna buy a waterproof one? Like, he breaks his walkie-talkie so often, I just think it would be a worthwhile investment for him. Ooh, a muscle. It's been working out. Did I say I've been working out because I got a muscle? Oh my gosh. Definitely. This is how you get muscles. Do I recipes for the mermaid set? Oh, you said no to him. Oh, so if you say no, he keeps coming, maybe? I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. This update is still so new. There's like so much we still don't know. Let's see, what's this? Oh, what is that? An abalone? Why do I want a sandwich now? Okay, that's pretty cool. That's new. I have like the controller shaking for Nook Miles again. Let's see. Underwater understudy. A thousand nook miles, oh my gosh. That's not too bad. 
what mermaid recipes do you have? I don't have any right now. I've- the only diving I've done has been on Emily's Island, so I don't think Pascal appears during multiplayer, and I haven't dived on Seychelles before right now, so that's my first interaction with him. Oh, Bats, I hope that you feel better soon. Oh wait, Ab Abalani? Oops. Avalani. I mean, when do I ever pronounce words correctly? Okay, this swims fast. Is this like an octopus? Oh wait, no, what? <gasps> a mantis shrimp. I love the design for all the different sea creatures. It's kind of cool seeing them. Check your pockets. Let's see, how much do we have? Oh, we still have a lot to go. Okay. I thought I felt like we were doing pretty good. <laughs> Let's see what's here. A jellyfish! Oh wait! <gasps> it's a pearl! Could today get any more pearl fit? Oh my gosh, that was fast! I must be lucky, okay. We'll take it. It doesn't look like Pascal- Oh wait, no, you use it for crafting. That's pretty cool! I know, I saw some streams earlier this week of people diving. And they couldn't get a pearl, like, after hours and hours and hours, so I thought they were, like, super, super rare. But we actually were able to get one. An acorn barnacle. You still haven't found a pearl? Wow. I mean, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Let's see what's this. Is it the pearl that was swimming so fast, too? Are they harder to catch? Maybe, but we're a professional A button spammer, so we don't have a problem with that. You want to make a diving clip with a ramp? That could be cool. Actually, should we work on that? I really like that idea. Like a little ramp where you jump into the ocean. That's a jellyfish. I wish the moon jellyfish had like a cage that was shaped like the sea butterfly cage. I think I have a sea butterfly on my... Um, right beach. Oh, there's a bottle. Let's go grab that. I can show you what that cage looks like. I just think it looks really cool. It's like a tube um, shape. Oh, no way, guys! What? Today is my day! No way! Okay, everybody, if you need to go diving, come to Seychelles. Our water is full of treasure. <laughs> What? Oh my gosh. Okay, never mind actually. Let's just keep swimming. <laughs> it's that streaming luck. I guess so. Wow. Okay, let's see what's down here. Oh, that's a big shadow. <laughs> yes, although I have to Animal Crossing. I changed my water so that it has more pearls. <laughs> that's true, Celia. Okay, let's see what's down here. Um, oh, it's a starfish. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. I wish the starfish, like, you could put it down without a cage. So you could just have them, like, laying on your sand. That would be adorable. Um, don't sell your pearls. Yeah, no, I'm gonna save the pearls. I, I've heard how hard they are to get. Apparently. <laughs> Confirmed hacked. Oh, a sea slug. It's so cute. It's so small. Love that. I spent hours playing with the water. Let me see. Are there more bubbles? Are there like nights where like the water's just luckier than other nights? Oh, gracefully. Let's see. There's some bubbles here. Oh my gosh, it's swimming fast. That's kind of promising. <gasps> a scallop? Why am I catching such like... I don't know, I feel like these are things you shouldn't catch as frequently as I'm catching them. Are scallops rare too? I feel like maybe? But yeah, Pascal didn't come back. So maybe... We ha where do we meet him again, though? Like, if I want to trade that for more pearls. I don't know. 
an acorn barnacle. Okay, I'm just gonna keep swimming around the front of the island here because it seems pretty lucky. Do you prefer sunsets or sunrises? I, I don't know, I like sunrises just because it means that you have the whole day ahead of you, you know? Like, as you see the sun rising, you know that there's this whole, like, new day, like, this whole fresh start ahead of you. And, you know, what I like to say every day, like, if I wake up for the sun to rise, I'm like, the sunrise is so beautiful that it's like, today is a good day to have a good day. You know, like, let's make the most of today. And then with sunsets, I also really like those because I think a sunset is proof where even if you had a terrible day, it can end beautifully, you know? Like, you can still see this beautiful, like, the sky, all these different colors and stuff, and just sit outside and think, like, you know, it's still, there's still, like, a rainbow at the end of the storm. Like, it's still gonna end with a beautiful scene. I don't know. I don't know. I like both, I guess. Oh, it's so hard for me to pick things. Ooh, a moon jellyfish. Oh, Ray. <laughs> I do really like poetry. Um, just fun fact, I guess. A color analogy? Oh my goodness, Juan. <laughs> Houses block the sky in your neighborhood? I feel that there's the place I live at the moment, there's like never colorful sun. Like, literally, I've been awake when the sun rises, but it's like the sky's black. And then the sky is blue. Like, there's no colors. It just changes. And it rains, like, every day, so it's usually cloudy. But it's okay. Because still, just seeing the sky slowly change colors, well, kind of, slowly change brightness, I guess, is fun to watch. But um, I used to live somewhere where they had, like, super pretty sunrises. Like, super, super pretty. That was nice. <laughs> You're eating banana foster ice cream? That sounds so good. Oh wait, we swam over bubbles. Let's see what's here. <laughs> this is a big shadow. Oh, an octopus. If you run and press A while holding B, you can do a flip. Oh, that's true. Yeah, if you like run to the water and like you have to press A like right before you get to the end, you're actually able to like do a really cool little like flip into the water, which is pretty fun. <gasps> a Kazami crab. Okay, Jade, literally same. I don't know why. I just, I don't know. It's a good time, really. Abnormally good time. <laughs> you wish we still had fireflies at night? I, me too. I thought the fireflies were really cool because it's almost like little fairies flying around your town, especially if you have like a fairy core themed town. It just adds so much to it. But I mean, really any town. It's just like another layer of atmosphere. Oh, oh no. We've caught too many. I'm going to release an acorn barnacle because I feel like those aren't that great. Let's keep the rest though. Imagine if I just released a pearl. I would have been so mad at myself. Can you place pearls? Let's see. Let's go over here. Um Oh no, it's like a it's like a item. That's so pretty though. Wow. I'm just going to put them there cuz I don't trust myself. Like if I go to Nook's Cranny, I don't even want them in my hands. I'll put the scallop there too. In case you meet Pascal again, I don't know how that works, but I know that he likes scallops. So, Oh, it goes in a tank? I guess that makes sense. I guess it is alive. <laughs> All right, let's go and sell some stuff. Also, these are sea creatures too that I was gonna sell that I haven't done yet. So I guess let's plant this. I mean, actually, let me put, let me drop some stuff. We don't need this stuff right now. That's for Flick. We don't need that either, but let's grab some more of the sea creatures. And then we can drop this. Let's learn this. A mermaid wall clock. All right, so to answer your question, I have the mermaid wall clock recipe. Okay, and then we also have this. Let's drop this. 
Oh wait, no, 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 no. We need this. I mean, we don't need it right now. You, you get the point. Um, we don't need this right now. And then let's let's just plant some flowers. Very beautiful. This is the island decorating that you come for. This right here. Gorgeous. Okay, but let's grab some of these. And then hopefully we'll get the housing kit. And then we can use it to kind of like measure. I know that technically you could just count like a house is four by floor. Four by floor? Four by four blocks. But I'm like a very visual person. So like I want to see the layout. So that's why we're doing it this way. Oh, there's a pink rock climbing wall. Oh, I want that. Hopefully we'll have enough bells for both. I don't even know, Emily. I don't even know. It's it's a stream. He won't take any extras you get. Okay, that makes sense, Lockliff. You got two pearls? Golden Panda, oh my goodness. The luck is contagious. Okay, so if you have New Horizons open right now, go diving right now and try to catch some pearls because apparently tonight is the night of the pearls. Okay, but let's go ahead and grab these and see. It, I feel like the... What was it? Abalone? Abalone is like rare? Because like the, the message when you catch it was like, oh my goodness, this is amazing. So I might keep it for the museum, but let's sell the rest of this. 40,000? You were right. Diving makes you so many bells. Wow. Oh my goodness, what? How much does this cost though? 4,000, okay, yeah, we can buy both. Awesome. All right, so let's grab this and then should we see what's in here today? That's a good tri uh, tip, Adrian. You're gonna go diving now, yes. Go diving. <laughs> diving is a very important activity. A watermelon umbrella, that's so cute. I, I might have it though. Wait, is this a ghost umbrella? Oh, I need it. It's so cute. Yes. Okay, what else do we have? Um, cedar sapling, customization kit. I do need some of those. I need a lot of those, but I'll buy those after I move the house because they're quite expensive. Like if you buy like a bunch of them, I think it's like 5,000, no, 3,000 bells still. Um, we'll come back. Oh wait, 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 no. I keep pressing the wrong buttons. I want to see the wallpapers. Mm. Oh. Oh, that's pretty- oh, wait. So many paint floorings. I think I have these. That's really fancy though. This feels too fancy for me to own. Like, I can't imagine living in a house fancy enough where that would make sense, but I like this flooring. Yes. <laughs> okay. I might I might come back for the gold flooring though, because I do want to make a like resort at the boardwalk. Like a resort type of hotel thing, so maybe. You always have an umbrella in your pocket? It rains all the time here as well. Which I'm not mad about because I really like it when it rains in Animal Crossing, so kind of thriving with all the rain. But let's see. Oh right, we were getting a moving kit. Let's go back to the resident services. Yeah, I, I also saw something with the um, rock climbing walls, which I can actually show you if I go back to my house. I say a terraforming stream. And then I'm like, actually, I want to work on the upstairs of my house, <laughs> but I have like a really um, interesting idea for it. I want to make like this, you'll see, you'll see, but first layout kit, that's what we need. Where is Judy? That's a good question. Where is Judy? Maybe she's in a shop because I haven't seen her anywhere around the island. Um, let's talk infrastructure. What do you have in mind? Layout changes. Um, island home. You like the 3 a.m. music. I... <laughs> the wallas are strange though. Like the, the trombone sounds, I think the music would be fine. And then it's just like, 
wah, 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 wah. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like um, it kind of reminds me of like in Population Growing. There was this one song that would play. And it would play like, I think it was the 4AM song. And it was so strange. And people always say like, this is where Nintendo wanted to tell people like, just go to bed. Just turn it off and go to bed. <laughs> okay. Moving your entire home sounds like it'd be thrilling. Yay, okay. We're actually able to do it now. The museum? Marshall's the only boy on your island? <gasps> I didn't even notice that. Oh my gosh. Is he really? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> um. Oh, check the museum for Judy. That's true. She might be like looking at the places. Um, the inside of my house is like very not complete. But. Oh! <gasps> you had a fight with Flurry over something unimportant. Gail, what happened? You said something you shouldn't have and you felt really bad about that, so you got her a gift to make up. You're having a hard time facing her, so you're hoping I could deliver it for you. Yeah, we need you to get along, we can't have fights here. Here's the gift. What did you tell Flurry though? Were you mean to Flurry? <gasps> Gail. It's getting too late to do it tonight, but you think you'll be able to deliver it tomorrow. Can you not- Is she asleep? Is Flurry actually asleep? And I'm supposed to be responsible and remember this tomorrow? No, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. She's home. Let's go see. <laughs> Gail is canceled. Gail must leave Seychelle now. How dare she be mean to Flurry? Let's see how Flurry reacts. Let's see what her side of the story is. Oh my gosh, does she have a little popsicle? What a precious bean. Oh my goodness. Okay, Flurry, I know you're enjoying your popsicle, but there's something I need to talk to you about. So happy you're here. Oh my gosh, I love her. Um, I actually have a delivery for you. Really? What could it be? I don't know if you're still mad about this, but Gail actually told me you had a little bit of a falling out. Hopefully you will know what this is. This is from Gail? What could this be? I guess I should just go ahead and open it to see. Oh, that rhymed. Flurry should be a poet. A simple parka? Will this look good on me? Wait, no, don't change your shirt. I love your shirt so much. Oh, wait, should I say? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Am I making the fight worse? I, I like your shirt, though. I get it. I'll just set it aside then. <gasps> she has such a kind heart. I'm sure she meant well. I'm also sorry for what happened, so I'm gonna go find her and make sure we patch things up. Judy, thank you for delivering this. I feel like a weight's been lifted off my shoulders. It's not much, but here's a day's dress. Right, now that's all I have to give. I hope that's okay with you. Okay, she is a precious bean. Um, should we see what the dress looks like? I wish that we could actually see her, like, apologizing to Gail. I think that would be the cutest thing. Like, in Tomodachi life, sometimes your care- Oh, that is cute. That's, like, Rosie's dress. Thank you, Flurry. Oh my gosh, look at her little- <laughs> She's enjoying her popsicles so much. But in Tomodachi life, your- When the... you had fights, basically when you say, like, you want to make up, it would actually show you, like, a cutscene of the people talking and, like, trying to apologize. But sometimes they would like reject the apology and they would keep fighting, so it was really funny. You haven't had a chance to talk with Jude yet. I know I haven't played with her, that's my backup character. I thought she was gonna say I haven't had a chance to talk with Gail yet, and I was like, wait, no, do we get to see you guys make up? Because I want to see that. Yes, Grace, I do. I love Tomodachi life. The dating part, though. Yeah. Please give us Tomodachi Life for Switch. Oh my gosh, I would love that. I miss Tomodachi Life. I played through it like multiple times. Like I reset the game, made new families, and played through it. <laughs> I had so much fun with it. You still play? You're gonna make an edit of Flurry inside of a McFlurry? <laughs> Send a link to that. I want to see that. 
Tomodachi life is cute. Hi, Sasa. No, you're fine, you're right, Romy. Uh, let me see. I'm gonna keep on the dress Flair gave me because that's perfect. And then let's go see. I'm gonna show you what I mean about the houses and how they fit here. So for some reason, you cannot have the house touching the back of the cliff. Like, you can, but you can't in front of resident services. So, I just realized you can't climb on this side. I can make the house, like, one block back. But that's like, there's no room for a path in front of it. So let me see, if we, like, build this here and we, like, imagine, this is, like, the only place you can put it. And, like, if I do this and we imagine it, there is... It could work. It could. Hypothetically. Potentially. Possibly. Be okay there. But if it's not okay there, it's gonna be 50,000 bells to move it, so that's the question. Uh, don't forget to talk to Gail and tell her. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll have to go back and tell Gail that we've delivered the present. I never think about that, like, following up with the villager again. You caught another scallop? And Pascal came and gave you a pearl. <gasps> oh my gosh, Gigi. I'll let you know. You can place under the house the path. So do you think we should put the house here? Like, I'm not- I'm- I'm scared. <laughs> I don't want to, like, um, move it, like, too many times. Uh, yes, Peaches. Thank you so much. Um, I was actually thinking of doing a- Like, an island advice stream. So, like, I was thinking on Saturday- Or maybe not Saturday, because the fishing tourney- but, oh no, searching for signal. Um, I was thinking we could do an island device stream, so it's basically the same thing as visiting islands, but we purposely visit unfinished islands, and we all kind of work together giving our advice and talking about <laughs> um, what we want, to, what revisions we want to make to island, what we think should go places and stuff, like just kind of like really work on our islands together. I thought that could be pretty fun. So, um... Yeah, <laughs> maybe we could do that on Friday, could be fun. You should wait until you like the spot. The thing is that like, I want to put panels in front of the house. Like I don't have another idea for the house, you know? Like this is the spot I want to put it in, but it's like so nerve wracking spending 50,000 bells. Oh, thank you so much, Julia. Um, I do. I play on Twitch, kind of, and YouTube. Like, right now, this stream, it's on Twitch also, right now. But mainly, it's on YouTube. <laughs> but I have the Twitch chat open, too. There's, like, two people on Twitch. <laughs> Alright, and then... Uh, yes, anybody's islands can be visited. We we have like a website where we collect dodo codes and if you just fill out the form, you'll be added to the queue and then we'll visit your island. If you're going to hide the house with panels, why does it need to be there? This is such a good question, Rebecca. I, I don't know the answer, to be honest. <laughs> just because panels look nice, I guess. And I don't really know, like I want to put something like i don't want to just put the panels up here because i had it like that but i felt like it looked kind of like eh, you know kind of flat i want to do something more functional with this space so like houses um but i want to put cliffs between the houses which i can do like most of what i want to do i can oh too close to a cliff okay we, we need to shift over i don't know exactly like how to center it either mm. It's not going to be centered with resident services. It should be centered with a boardwalk in front. 
Let's do that. Let's... Oh, oh wait, whoa. Did not mean to do that. Okay. So, if that's the stall there, can I make a house center with the stall? I should be able to. Maybe here? But if I ever move the stall, this is gonna- Oh wait, oh, it doesn't center. Because the stall is off center. That's annoying. Oh my gosh. No, I need to come up with a way to make this symmetrical. This is gonna bother me so much. Okay. So we need to take this out. And we need to like move everything. Like half a block. But we can't because of the palm trees. No, nothing's gonna be centered. No. Um. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Let's do a think. And no, it's fine, Mary. You can take as much time as you need. Oh, Spencer? <laughs> Face your OCD fears and be brave. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, that's scary. Have you ever played an instrument? I have, actually. Palm trees can be off-center since they're a natural item. But, but, but if they're, if they're off center, oh, <laughs> that's, this, oh my gosh, it's a five wide space. If I make it four wide, I can't put the lantern in this, oh my goodness. So the houses aren't going to be centered by the palm trees. Okay, we have to think asymmetrical. Think asymmetrical? Asymmetrical. We can do this. I'm s okay. Let's grab the ladder out. Mmm, this is painful. How, though? This is, like, okay, okay. If I, mm, <laughs> I don't want to make it asymmetrical, why? <laughs> Let's see. Okay, where, where am I going to end it? Let me think about that. Oh? We started a new song. Oh wait, what is this? Here it is. Okay. I'm doing good, Maria. How are you doing this week? <gasps> Nessie, you've been playing since you're four. That's so cool. I wanted to put the houses between the palm trees, but they're not going to fit unless I put them closer together. So it's like four blocks wide instead of five. But if I do that, I have to remove these lanterns. And like, if I do that, it's just going to be kind of meh. <laughs> Is meh the best way to describe it? Oh my gosh, Audie. She's already enjoying this area. I don't know if I like the stone path back here anymore either. Hmm. I mean, it's it's okay. It was inspired by Charleston, so basically there, they have like a boardwalk, and then in between there's like a row of like palm trees and hedges and stuff, and then behind that there's like the downtown city street. So that's kind of what inspired this layout. But, ugh, I don't know. I just feel like just putting panels here, and then putting an observation deck at the top is a bit boring. I guess we're gonna make asymmetrical houses. Mm. <laughs> we 
can do this. I believe in us. Let me at least make it symmetrical with the town hall so it has like some reasoning. It has to have some purpose for where it is. Let's do that. Oh wait, did I just accidentally turn off the music? Let me put that back on. Sorry. <laughs> okay. You love how Flickish is standing on the cliff. Is he on the cliff? I didn't even notice. Wait, where is he? Is he... Is he on this side? Oh? I have no idea. He's kind of just appearing wherever he feels like it. Is he like on a random cliff? I guess we'll find him. Okay, so... I just- I stood way too close. I know, that was my bad. Let's- let's do it. I mean, you only live once, right? And I mean, diving makes you so many bells that we could probably get the bells back if we make a mistake, right? We got this, guys. <laughs> you put seaweed everywhere? Oh, that would look really cool. Very natural. Okay, ready? Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, this is a good spot. Okay, there's a house. Um, it's, yeah, it's, it's here now. There it is. We can't see it though, which is kind of unfortunate, but actually, should I have seen if you can fit simple panels here before I did that? That probably would have been smart. I'm just gonna grab some from the extension of the boardwalk. <laughs> One step closer to getting over it. We're facing our fears, yes. That was- that was intense. But let me see, if we take some of these ones, the pink, and then we'll take these blue ones, and then let's see... If we put these in front, how's this gonna look? Okay, it does fit. Okay, okay, you know what? I think this is gonna work out. So like, the way I'm doing it is I'm gonna put like kind of a rooftop-y pattern there, so it kind of looks like the buildings are continued up, and then behind them, there's actual buildings, so it's, you know, it makes sense. Like, it looks like a little downtown neighborhood. So yeah, I feel kind of bad using the houses for decoration, but... Mm, it's gonna, it's gonna look nice, I guess. I can't put another panel here, because the door... We can put some here, though. Actually, I want to put a snack... Oh no, it's off-center again. I can't put, like, a snack machine here because wait maybe I could put simple panels all the way along the top because if this isn't it's not a street it's buildings okay let's do that let's get rid of the cliff but then how close together am I going to put the houses so the houses are just decoration at this point the houses are just where will I get lazy what are what are you thinking about who <laughs> sprinkle <laughs> why do you need lasers I like that cliff there. Let me let me leave that for now. We'll get some more panels from down here. <laughs> Gail's cancelled anyways. <laughs> She's a decoration. Oh no. You cannot catch a drone beetle. I think I can get one for you. We need to go talk to Gail too. Tell her that we delivered the present. I think drone beetles are pretty common. I'm sure we'll come across one. Question is, where is Gail? Maybe she's at resident services. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, she is. She's pretty cute though. And do that for your sanity. She needs them for a pop star stage show, yes. No, yeah, Sasha, it's completely fine. If you- you can feel free, take as much inspiration as you want. You're sweating just sitting here? Thanks for dropping off my gift with Flurry. How did she react? Pretty well. She said she wants to make up. It's such a relief to hear that. Thanks to you, I think we may be able to patch things up. That's good. We can have beautiful, wholesome living back on Seychelles. The lasers, I mean. Wait, what was Sprinkle? Oh, a drone beetle. I was like, yeah, what were the lasers? Where? I still don't know what, what lasers have to do with drone beetles, but you know. I guess she wants to do some experiments with the bugs. Maybe we shouldn't give her a bug. I don't want the bug to get hurt. 
Okay, let's see. I think drone beetles are the little ones on the ground. Um, but first, we're actually going to look for something. <laughs> but what is that something? I don't know. A star net? No, I don't think that's it. I think I wanted a stack machine, but I changed my mind. Okay. Here we have this. No, no, not that. This. <laughs> oh, thank you, Julio. I have shooting stars? Okay, I thought I did for a second there, but I wasn't sure. That's why I looked up earlier. I thought I saw something. Do you think Celeste is in town? We could go look for her. Maybe. We'll see. If we see another star. We also still need to find Juju. Juju? Judy, I don't know. <laughs> I guess Juju could be her nickname. The simple panel I want is literally right here, so I don't know why I keep running to the back of the island. Gail's your number one uh, dreamy? She is really cute. <laughs> Juju. I so- I think I didn't even mean to do that. Okay, we need to use these ones to continue from the bottom building. And I guess like a white type of flooring with- oh, no, not you. It's- I wish that there was a preview, because placing these panels is so hard, because you don't know which one you're pressing on. Okay, there we go. So that like continues from the bottom, then we can actually put down something on the ground too. I mean, I have like a proper rooftop pattern, but I think white would probably look better because the panels are white. I don't know. That's very white. That's like, no, no, no. That is, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot to take in. Thank you for coming, Nessa. I hope you have a good night. Hi, Davina. I hope you're doing well. It's snowing where you are, what? Are you... What? Is it winter where you are? Or is it just like super cold? I guess you could be in like the southern hemisphere. It's really hot here. But that's cool. Stay warm though, don't get too cold. Oh, thank you, Amethyst. All right. So now we have to put down the panels, which, again, we can't see a preview of them, so this is going to be a struggle. But let's see, there's the first one. I think, yeah, uh, gray is probably better. And we can put pathing here, we just can't do it until the house is built. So just don't mind this chunk that's like slowly killing me inside. Oh, present! <laughs> let's see what's in here. It was hailing yesterday. <gasps> oh, iron nuggets. That's nice. Was there like a big thunderstorm? I'm doing good, Davina. How are you? <gasps> oh no, Nadia. You should have taken your chance with Gail. Let's see. Okay, that's that's pink. That's not that's not the one either. We do need it here though. Is it still at the top or is it moved now? Okay, no, it's still there. So, but now they're like way back. No, let's move it more front. Oh, is that as far as it's going to go? No, wait, let's not do it. <laughs> There's so much experimentation. It's a lot of trial and error. I think actually though we can build it here. I don't think I have to move this whole thing. I don't know exactly how it connects to the rest of the island, but these are things that you figure out over time. I wish that I could actually put a third layer here so that you could like look down at resident services because this is weird. It's just like covering resident services. Like resident services just does not exist here. We don't acknowledge it. We don't believe in it. <laughs> oh no. I guess the town hall isn't- it's funny though because the original 
area I had here was like a, it was an area built to extend resident services, so I built like a concert area here. So it was like, you have KK performing, and then in front of it, all of this was like an open plaza area, and now I'm just like, cover it all. <laughs> but you know, it's fun to experiment with lots of different ideas. You drink tea when you go out? Oh my goodness. Um, uh, my villagers. Uh, let me see. Um, uh, my villagers are Megan, Audie, Gail, Opal, Judy, Marshall, Cookie, Flurry, Sprinkle, and Apple. Also, if we have any more, um, KK Slider song recommendations, we can play some of those too. I think we've been listening to Snow Cupcakes for like 30 minutes. <laughs> it is a good song though. Check your bulletin board, there's a bird on it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I I'll have to go do that. I think there's actually a fishing tourney this weekend. So it might be announcing that. Oh wait, there's a drone beetle. Let's grab it for Sprinkle. This is a drone beetle, right? No, it's a dung beetle, wait. Drone beetles are the green ones on trees, I think. Okay. Well, we'll have to look for trees then. But let's see what the message is. Don't be afraid. Oh, I remember writing this. <laughs> I had to write it to get Nook Miles because I was upgrading my house on my second account. It's um the lyrics of Hey Jude. Or like, Hey Jude, don't be afraid. That's why I wrote that. Okay. <laughs> let's see. Upcoming fishing tourney upcoming bug off i haven't even read the bug off notifications yet love that <laughs> okay well now now we've got those <laughs> very inspirational words oh thank you so much amthus how do you get good furniture and pink plants um when i started my island i covered a solid 80% of it with white and red flowers and that's how I got a ton of pink mums because they were all mums so that's how you get a ton of pink flowers Animal City would be good yes oh my gosh that's such a good one let's put it on Animal City Animal City I love this song so much. All right. Now, what is this? A simple panel. Cool. <laughs> You're so bad at getting hybrids. Your favorite song in real life? I honestly don't know. Like, I feel like most of the music I listen to is Animal Crossing music, which <laughs> just just to be honest, like in real life, real life, real life, real life. Do I even live in real life at this point? <laughs> oh, you had a gogurt and you're feeling better. That's good. Gogurts are always good. <laughs> okay, let me put down some more of these tiles. <laughs> you don't like real music. Ah. Uh... I like Animal City. What inspired you not to go through with your island plans? <laughs> Real life, what's that? Yeah, we don't know her. Um. Oh, it's 4.30? Oh my gosh, yeah, you should definitely rest, Celia. Thank you so much for coming, though. I think, um, I don't know. I, I had nothing against my original island plans. It was much more cottagecore type of style. But, I don't know, I just, I like cities. I don't know. I don't know why. I just like them. <laughs> I'm still, I'm doing a cottagecore area at the back of Seychelles though. But originally this was like a cottagecore music festival. And then up here, you know, I had like these little waterfalls, like, it's still kind of more natural-ish, but still like developed. I like, I like things that are very symmetrical and stuff so i guess it slowly developed into a city
but I'm still trying to keep it like colorful and stuff. Although, I did download these other windows, which I was thinking of replacing these with, which are like these cottage style windows, which I think looks super cute, but then I would change all the colors in this whole area. So there's definitely a lot of experimentation. I, you know, islands are never done. You know, you can always have a lot of fun changing up your designs. <laughs> you thought your sleep schedule was whack? Yeah, Sunny. Hi, Sunny. I recognize you. <gasps> Hi, Katie. Uh, Gogurt is like yogurt, but it's in a tube. You just woke up and it's 3.30 in the morning? You've been asleep for 16 hours. Oh my goodness, when did you go to bed? I guess, well, 16 hours ago. <laughs> so you went to bed early, wow. Did you stay up late the night before? Okay, we're gonna have to get another moving kit to put a house here, but we can't. So let me just put a pattern on the ground. Have we talked to Gail yet about the delivery? I think so. What pattern can I use to mark? Let's use Maple Bells. She needs more appreciation. <laughs> I literally only use this pattern in the cafe. I'm not even mad about it though. You're drinking water right now? Oh my gosh, Carpy! I feel that. I've, I've done that before too. I kind of did that this week actually, just staying up editing nonstop. But you have to take care of yourself too. You can't produce videos if you're exhausted. Anyways. Okay, but there we go. That's where the other house is gonna go. And wait. Am I not gonna be able to fit a panel here? Because the door? Because that's gonna bother me so much if this little corner of cliff is showing. There's a lot of things about this design that are going to bother me. <laughs> Let's see. No, not this. I don't- I think you can place it because it's next to the door. We can go to a villager house in the back and experiment with it. I don't think I have another blue window one, let me see. No, I don't. Let's go experiment, because that's going to change everything. This is a game changer. Like if there's little cliff corner bits sticking out, we need to restart everything, destroy it. <laughs> Not really, but we'll come up with another plan. Uh, yes, stay hydrated. Very important. Okay, thank you for coming, Angelica. I might see you later. All right, this is the moment of truth. We're gonna use Judy's house. <gasps> what? Why is it like sideways? Is that as close as it's gonna get? No, please, just one block over. Please. Just, just one, just one. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is so sad. <laughs> Um, okay, what if I move it in front? Like one block in front. No, why? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I, <laughs> that was so loud. Okay, I don't know. I don't know how we're gonna do this. We'll have to put the house built over. Nothing f like fits right because the palm trees are asymmetrical. <sighs> Let's get a present at least. <laughs> You're dancing in real life. What should you eat? Uh, what do you have? Let's grab a present. Um, I don't know. Let me see what the song's called. It is, it's really lively. Um, this song is, uh, let me see, 27. I think it's called Somebody's Getting It by Johnny Taylor. Uh, yes, I should have all the codes saved, and I'll post them on my Instagram story. 
pleather flare skirt. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I love that. Thank you, Sky. <laughs> okay, but let me see. <laughs> Upbeat song, yeah. We went from stale cupcakes to just having a party. Okay, so if we... We cannot put a panel here. So. That's a noose. Where, like, I don't know, can we? It's never gonna work on that side, actually, because even if I put another cliff here and a panel there, it's gonna have the same clipping issue. See, it's still gonna stick out. That is, um, it's not ideal. Okay, well, scrap this. <laughs> Let's move the panel half a block away from the door. And then let's put a snack machine in the center. So let's put it here. Okay, no, no. But it's not lining up with the bottom panel. Oh, no! Oh, and I got bit by a mosquito! Life, life, oh my gosh. It's not gonna- it's not gonna line up. Okay, I can- I can shift all the panels down. But then they're not gonna line up with the stalls e Oh my goodness. Animal Crossing is a stressful game. <laughs> we are no longer getting over the fear. Okay, thank you for coming, Mary. I can shift all of these over, but then the stalls- Okay, but we don't need it. We don't need it to be symmetrical, guys. We don't need it to be symmetrical, okay? We can we can make things asymmetrical. It's possible. All of the fears about symmetry are only made up in our heads. If we just if we just shift this over a little bit, the world's not going to end. It's not going to explode. It's just going to be a little bit shifted. It's gonna be fine. This is fine. <laughs> Absolutely, perfectly fine. <laughs> yeah, asymmetry. We love asymmetry. <laughs> okay. Let me let me shift all of these. I keep I'm trying to grab it, but it's so hard to move simple panels. Because they're so thin. Okay. At least we have some jazzy music to listen to while we do this. <laughs> I'm trying to convince myself it's okay. Because like now it's also not going to be symmetrical with the lanterns. And everything's just going to be a little bit off. <sighs> That's okay. That's fine. Um, I have like... Let me see how many hours I have in Animal Crossing. Peachy. Uh, wait, no. It's, it's not in Animal Crossing. It's here. 750. And, uh, and my island is not done. <laughs> to say the least. But that being said, a lot of it is from like, multiplayer, so I guess it makes sense. Alright, so let's- why am I keep going past that? These are so tedious to move, oh my goodness. See, like, now they're not symmet- that's okay though, it's okay because buildings aren't symmetrical. I kind of like it like that, like, not symmetrical. It looks more like, you know, like, a normal building. This is fine, yeah, we like asymmetry. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. Mm hmm Yes. And when we put the stall down, and it's gonna be in between two colors instead of one color, it's gonna be good that way. I don't have goosebumps at all. I I feel comfortable. I feel joyful. I have no issue 
with this narrative whatsoever. Totally not shaking. We're fine. <laughs> this is fine. We're just gonna we're just gonna um, put something else there. But okay, continuing moving panels. We have to move all of this as well. Hi, Oplex. <laughs> Everything is fine. Yeah, I was thinking maybe um we could put like a television screen, and then it would look like lights on the side of a building which could look quite cool, and it would also add more light sources to the boardwalk, which, as you know by now, most likely, I really love adding light sources to everything. So I do have an idea for it. We're gonna accept the asymmetry. We're just gonna make it less noticeable. But first, the tedious process of moving each and every little panel. I mean, honestly, picking up and putting it down is faster Except for the fact that you put down the wrong one. No, never mind. It's not faster. <laughs> Why did I pick it up? I should have just kept pushing it. No. Oh wait, no, that wasn't so bad. We found it pretty quick. Let's try it again. I don't know what's better. Let's see. Is this one pink? <gasps> Look at that first try. Maybe it's like a game. We have to guess which leaf is going to be the right panel. Okay, so pick up the blue one. I think the last leaf should be the blue one then because we just picked it up. Let's use- oh. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, maybe this one? Oh wait, that's a stall. It's not even a panel. Okay, this one. No! It was in the wrong spot anyways. This one? Okay. Um. Oh, that was smooth. We're, we're getting the flow of placing panels. Okay, and then let's move this window over. Okay, wait, 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 wait. There we go. <laughs> Honestly, Rebecca, I am. I feel that that meme is very relatable. Wait, wait, why is, why are these, why is the stall? Oh, it's in the wrong spot. I was like, how is the stall in the center? I pain. The definition of pain is that one blue panel at the side there. Ah, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, palm tree lamp. Wait, are these facing the same way? No, they're not. You need to go like this. Yes, okay, those are symmetrical now. I mean, not that, not that we're trying to make it symmetrical, because we're totally not. We're embracing the chaos. Okay, now let's put down two symmetrical shells. <laughs> Perfect. And then let's put down the trees. Hi, Aubrey. No, you're fine. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Uh, popcorn palm tree lamp. Okay. Let's put down- oh, I'm standing too close. No, that's so annoying. Like, I wish that you could just, like, shift back. Like, you have to exit the whole menu and, like, stand still again. Or wait, wait, is the orange one in the center? Or is it the pink light? I don't know which way these lights- Oh, the orange is in the center. Okay, then the other ones are facing the wrong way. Face this way. Okay. And then, maybe actually, let's put like fish or something here to fill it up better. Let's put our new abalone. Abalone. Ab abalone? Baloney. Oh, that's why! That's why the pun was I want a sandwich. Baloney. I didn't get it at all until right now. Oh. Okay. Okay. That was really slow. <laughs> Okay, I get it now. A bologna sandwich. <laughs> if you don't pronounce it right, that makes no sense. Like, I was like, abalone sandwich? What? <laughs> Is there something I don't know? <laughs> okay, let's put these shells back here. Um, I think that'll look fine, because that covers the really obnoxious spot where the panels change, too. I mean, I, I don't know. We'll keep an abalone there. <laughs> but... 
we'll see there's lots of sea creatures in the new update that we could play with actually a crab could be cute do i still have a crab or did i sell all of them no wait no i don't think they were here i think they're in front of able sisters oh wait no they were definitely there we can go diving again though this is fine <gasps> oh sorry let's put a popcorn machine here you got a pearl from diving guys seriously tonight is the night to go diving if you're looking for pearls if you want to craft mermaid furniture and stuff go diving tonight it's diving night <laughs> Okay, let's put the popcorn machine in the center, just because I think it's nice, like, filling up the space. This one. Perfect. Alright, and then that's honestly not too bad. Like, I'm not, you know, I'm not in pain or anything, like, from looking at it. Like, I... It's bearable. I'm moderately happy with it. <laughs> Your grammar's still bad. I feel this. Hermit crabs. Ooh, a hermit crab could be cute. Or like a hermit crab model. Cause then the hermit crab's not in a cage, which is cute. I like it when they're not in cages. All right, so there we have some more cliffs. Which actually, wait, so the simple panels are going to be lined up now. <gasps> wait, the simple panels are lined up. Oh my goodness. This is the best day ever. Look, they line up perfectly. <gasps> and it's going to line up perfectly to the side of the next house. Symmetry. Beautiful, beautiful symmetry. <gasps> yes. Look, we need one more. Oh, not that one. Um, not this one. I think maybe this one. Look at that. They line up perfectly with the bottom so it looks like the building continues. And then it's going to end right where the next house is. Yay, we did it. Okay, I'm happy. That change was definitely worthwhile. Alright, so we're going to move another house here in the future. So let me put... One more maple bell here. We don't need it, but it's bugging me, so there we go. <laughs> Next, let's build some more cliffs. Because building cliffs is fun. And then at the top, I'm gonna put like some like aircon heater stuff, like stuff that looks like it's on a rooftop to make it like look like building roofs, I guess. Um, cherry blossom recipes? I'd say the best way to get all of them is just to keep popping balloons. I'm pretty sure that's where I got like all of mine, was just from all the balloons. Also, I don't think we got our bottle. Like I saw a message in a bottle earlier, but I got distracted by the pearls. So we should probably go back to the beach and see what that is. But let me finish this path because I just kind of destroyed it, but we're not going to talk about that. There we go. And yeah, okay. Okay, I'm kind of happy with this. Things are going kind of okay. Um, I don't have any more of those type of panels. I'm gonna have to order so many panels. Wait, no, there's panels in my storage. They're already customized too. I just remembered. Let's go grab those. I don't know how long I want to make this boardwalk either. I guess just until I'm tired of extending it and then I'll build something else. Oh, you can catch them near where you live? That's so cool, Nadja. Oh, here's the Zen area. I like going back here. This is my favorite spot on the island. I just, I love this area so much, like the little forest with the lanterns. And then my house is like right centered at the top of the waterfall. But like, look, it's not, it's not symmetry because there's a bamboo on this side and not on the other. So it's natural. Definitely. Definitely natural. <laughs> That's so true, Emily. I don't like the, the catalog item limit. It's kind of sad. 
it gets in the way especially if you need like a bunch of a small item for area it can be very annoying but let's go grab some panels oh astrid thank you so much all right so let's see do we have some panels also i think if i see a rock climbing wall i'm gonna show you the idea i had for the upstairs um No, there's nothing here. Panels, panels. Here's some panels. See, they have the little custom design logo. You can't even see what they look like in here. They're really not giving us previews, are they? But okay, we got those. Do I have a rock climbing wall in here? If, oh wait, I do, I do, I have three, okay. So just like pretend that these are the same color, okay? I know that they're not, but just pretend for a second. And then we're also gonna need the stormy wallpaper. This one. Okay, so let me show you my plans for upstairs. I don't actually know what I have here right now. Oh, thank you so much, Kayleen. Keelin, Keelin, Keelin. Um, okay, there's not, there's not much here, cool. So basically I wanna make like a modern apartment. Why am I slowly turning my island into a city? I don't know, but anyways, I want to make like a modern studio apartment, so I really love thunderstorms and I love this wallpaper so much, but I don't like, I don't like using it for a house because there's like no walls. Like I don't know, it's weird that it's like completely glass, like at least with the cityscape wall, you can see the outline of the windows and you're like, okay yeah, this is, this is wall, this is like a window, but here it's like, this is too much glass. Like, as amazing as it would be to live in a house with this much glass, I don't- it doesn't look realistic enough. But, I actually- I saw this online, I don't even know where, but if you put climbing walls up against the wall, and then you have like another climbing wall here, it looks like the wall and you're looking between to the window. So let me- I know they're not the same color, but like, bear with me. See, like, if you do that, it's like, okay, there's a window right here, like a floor to ground window. And I think that's a really cool way, because you can still have, like, the stormy wallpaper, but then it looks a bit more realistic, and you can even see lightning through it. So, I really like that idea. You saw it on Reddit. <laughs> Casually has an outdoor bathroom. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're right. Why is this here? Oh my gosh, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. It's next to a toilet too, it's so pointless. Um, but yeah, I thought that would be a really cool idea. Let me see if we put, um, these are all different colored though, which is not great. Is this a blue rock climbing wall, can I just say? I love the color of it, like I never would have thought the back of it was this chestnut color. I like this even more. I think I'm gonna buy more blue ones. I really like that, like the wood color. Let me see what floor would- oh. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, lightning. <laughs> okay, let me see what flooring colors would look good with it. This is like a terraforming, getting distracted by the gameplay. Um, I guess. What does this look like? Um, no. <laughs> Do I have like a more sort of, what is this? Not brick though, like why would there be brick flooring inside? I mean, there could be, there could be, but like um, this type of room, I don't know. I want like normal hardwood floor, do I not have any? This is cool though, this is like a really nice modern floor. But like it doesn't match the rock climbing wall. I don't know what color is the rock climbing wall. Wait, it doesn't have to. Wait, floors and wallpaper don't match. I forgot. I don't know, for some reason I thought the wall had to match the floor perfectly. That's not how life works. <laughs> but okay. If we add like some rugs and stuff, this could be a cool bedroom. I don't even know how much modern type of furniture I have. Do I have a bed? I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> There's some chairs. Okay, wait, I have this bed. 
a wooden simple bed. That could work. That could look cute. We'll figure it out though. This is this is uh this is for another time, but I just I like the idea so much with the rock climbing wall. The metal loft of bed. Ooh, the metal loft of bed would look really good. I do actually, I have it downstairs. Oh, what's the goal of this room? It's kind of like a studio apartment type of room. A boucany? That could be really pretty. I think the ironwood furniture would look good there too. That type of style. There's just a kitchen just chilling back here. Okay. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> let's um let's go back to the area we're actually busy working on. Although I don't know, are we still? Oh right, simple panels. I went to get that. And I did. Oh no, fish, I'm sorry. Okay, so back here. Honestly, oh, there's a drone beetle for sprinkle. Wait, don't scare it, don't scare it, don't scare it. Let me get my net. Am I standing too close? <gasps> okay, it's not like the rarest bug, so it's not like that easy to scare it. Which is good, because I definitely would have scared it by now. There we go. A drone beetle. Okay, let's go give this to sprinkle. And we still have to find Judy. Like, we still haven't found her. I don't know where she's hiding. Oh. <laughs> A boucany? <laughs> no, I, I know- I know balcony. What is a boucany, though? Is a boucany, like, where there's, like, a separate room connected to the room? Um, I don't know what color this is gonna be. Nope. <laughs> now we have to play the guessing game again. We need the one with, like, the little parlor style window. Nope. Nope. Not- not this. Wait, where did I get log stakes? Uh, nope, not this either. Mm, nope. Do we have any? I feel like we've just tried every window. Okay, I, I literally- I don't think we have any more. Let's go work on this. Wow, we need it for this side too? Oh my goodness. Okay, well... Okay. You know? We're gonna have to... Get more simple panels with that pattern. I guess we could paint the ones we have. How much how much customization kit does it take to paint one? Okay. Um, let's craft. I don't have any kits with me, but I'll go buy some in a second. You got a snapping turtle? Oh my gosh, snapping turtles are so cute. Is it one? I think it might be one. Then it's not too bad. Yeah, it's just one. Okay, we can paint a couple of these. And then we can finish up our boardwalk. Kind of. Although, I did actually order some floor lights. A customization kits are the bane of your existence. I feel this, Emily. I know I have some. Somewhere. I just... I have no idea where, so I'm not even going to try finding them. I'm just going to buy more. You always need them anyways. But we're going to need to paint one, two, three, four. And then I also have to go to my mailbox to get the pink floor light. Oh, no. Okay, okay, okay. Never mind. We're going to have to find. Do I have any left? I, I think. But, like, I don't know for sure. Um, oh no. Hmm. Nothing here. Let's get the floor light at least. I just need the one floor light. Here it is. <laughs> okay. Do I have any customization kits? Please. Don't disappoint me, storage. Thank you so much, Christy. Oh, thank you, Fairy Flower. Um, do we have any other? 
Oh, I don't think we do. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Five. Yes, we need four and we have five. I'm telling you, the luck tonight is insane. We have the pearls, now we have the exact number of customization kits. Like, we're just kind of thriving tonight. All right, so let's go ahead and paint this. Mm, let's paint it like this. Yes. I don't know why. I was like, I can't decide. And then I was like, there's only one answer. <laughs> yeah, I wish that the stores, like, in New Leaf, there was actually ordinances. So you could, like, get the Night Owl ordinance and then your stores would stay open at nighttime. And I really wish we had that in New Horizons too, because I always play at nighttime and I wish that the stores would stay open longer. All right, let's continue customizing here. Um, oh no, I didn't mean to exit out. Okay, custom design, this one. Oh wait, did I press? Oh no, 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 no. Um, this one, yes. Hi, Lila. All right, continue customizing one more time. This one, no. I, I keep pressing on the same design. There we go. One customization kit to spare. You had to set your time back? I actually did that um, before. But now my time is like synced with the real clock again. Oh, you like milk. I'm sorry, Ray. Hopefully you're able to figure out the issue though so you won't have to feel nauseous all the time anymore. Cause that is not a fun feeling. Hey Abigail! No, it's fine! Don't worry. Is Flick still in town? Maybe we could catch some bugs. And um... <laughs> I say maybe we could catch some bugs while I'm scaring away a bug. This is, this is how you catch bugs. I feel like if we catch a lot of the palm tree bugs we might be able to make a bunch of bells like with New Leaf? Are you looking for a chef's outfit? What? Really? It must have been somebody else. Oh well, you know how you're always doing nice things for me. The other day I couldn't help buying a chef's outfit. And now I can't help giving it to you. It'd make me super happy if you'd accept it. Well, I mean if it'd make you super happy, I guess I don't really have a choice. Let's see what this looks like. We're getting so many cute outfits from our villagers tonight. Let's take off our wetsuit here and see what this looks like. Oh, that's cute! It kind of reminds me of the uniform on like Below Deck Mediterranean, if you've ever watched that show. I get that type of vibe from this outfit. Time travel used to be so easy in New Leaf. That's true. Okay, let's put um, the wetsuit back on just for like pocket space and then let's place the final panels. I think all the panels at the cliffs are actually going to be these blue ones too, so I'm going to have to make a lot of them. But okay, so there's one there, and then we need one here, and it's actually still accessible. Like, look, you can walk to the house, you know, you can't walk a lot in front of the house, you know, but you can reach it. So it's even better than I originally thought it was going to be. Now let's put another panel. Let's put this one here. Oh, hey Jade, welcome back. Oh wait, it comes on but without trying- or wait, wait, I cannot speak. The wetsuit comes off um, when you try on clothes. I did not know this. Okay, there we go. I actually- like it? <laughs> I'm, I'm quite happy with it. I think it's coming together well. I might add some little... The thing is like I don't want to go too over the top but I want to add... No, 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 no. No, no, that's good, that's good. So then up there we have the houses and the houses have lights. So more light sources for the top. Because you know, we're all about lights here. Here, I actually might make it a resort. So like, I saw this really cool QR code, not QR code, this really cool design 
where there, it actually has like windows so it looks like the decking is like on top of the ocean and then you can look through a glass floor at the water so that could look cool and then behind it we have the boardwalk with the city at the back okay um let's put down the last floor light in front of this palm tree i think if you stand right here it should center itself and there we go that's kind of i'm sorry i'm sorry to that bug that's kind of the main layout for the boardwalk done. Are these log stakes I'm holding white by any chance? Because that would be awesome. Oh no. <laughs> okay, let's go grab some white ones to fill in that space. Oh wait, well, I did not even see that bug. I'm, I'm so bad. I'm scaring all these bugs. They're just trying to live their lives. Um, yes, the boardwalk is a code. Oh my goodness, Rosemary, I hope that you're okay. Stay safe. Get to a interior room or basement. Okay, let's see if we put down... No, that's that's the entrance to the beach. Okay, let's put down log stakes here. That's not log stakes. No, no. This is. Okay. So there we have that. So the reason I have log stakes and lamps here is... You actually can't put fencing here because it's like half a block from the bottom so like you cannot put a fence at the edge of this but you can make your own fence using log stakes and lamps so that's what i've tried to do then i want to put one more shell speaker here i have to paint this pink too and then this i wanted to paint this pink too like the shell arch but it's like when you customize it into pink, it's like really hot pink. And it looks kind of like it doesn't match very well, so that's why I left it white. But yeah, this I've been working on this for like four weeks now. It's been through a lot to get to this point. But I'm actually kind of okay with it now. Oh my gosh, Golden Panda. Uh yeah, probably Emily. I still need to make like a diving area. Oh my gosh, stop scaring bugs, why? Maybe we could, um, I don't know, what should we do next? If this is there, that's there. I think that's really all we can do on this section tonight, to be honest. But I might try catching some bugs for a second, just for Flick, since he is in town, and I know that he'll appreciate it. Because we all know how much Flick loves bugs. And let me see, I put a sea globe here. That could look nice. I don't know. I'll figure out what to put on the stalls. I don't really- the shells are kind of meh. Let's just get rid of those right now. I tried making like a shell path here too, but I didn't like it, so now it's like a flower petal path. I don't even know if I like that though. I don't know. We just experiment. Oh, we have to give Sprinkle the drone beetle too, and we still have to find Judy. Oh, I have a lot of giant clams actually. That's good for shell recipes. But where is Judy? She might be in the mute. Oh, scorpion! Ooh, Flick is gonna love you. This um, there's two scorpions on the screen right now. What? Wait, did it just go down? Oh, it disappeared. There's another scorpion back there. Why? Are what? Two scorpions at once? Wait, do they attack you if you're holding the net and walking? Oh, they do, they do, they do, they do, they do, they do. <laughs> okay, never mind, we won't experiment with that. Oh, it's actually cool because we caught our first scorpion during the last stream. So it's kind of funny that we're seeing them on stream again. Okay, please don't bite me. Scorpions are like the scariest bug in Animal Crossing, to be honest. To me personally, at least. Oh, <gasps> we did it! Yay! Okay, I don't know, there were two at once though, that was kind of- Tonight's a weird night. <laughs> Daisy? Daisy would be perfect actually. What about tarantulas? I don't mind the tarantulas as much, I think the tarantulas are kind of cute. To be honest, but the scorpions, no. <laughs> I, I don't like the scorpions as much. 
Should we, we have to place it. It's you can't drop things that are customized. Let's put it down. Um, I guess we can place that too. Okay. Let's drop this too. But yeah, I don't know. I like the tarantulas better. <laughs> the scorpions scare you too. Yes, Emily, we're facing our fears together. Okay, I'm gonna try to find Judy next. And then we'll have accomplished all of our goals. Let's see. Climbing wall, we don't need you. Well, I mean, we- what? Not we don't need- we- we- we can put you down for now. Actually, wait, let me go into my- my new Nook shopping app and actually order some more of those climbing walls for that room. Um, climb. I'm just gonna search climb. That should make a pop-up, right? Climbing wall. Okay. Can you actually see what the back looks like? The back of the pink one, it's actually white. I did not know that. This one's chestnut and this one's beige. I like the darker wood, I think. It's expensive though, oh my goodness. I should only need like uh, three more. So let's grab a couple of those. And now we can only order one more thing for the day, which is sad. Limits are sad. Okay, so this is done. What am I, What are we gonna do next? Let's go see if Judy is at the museum because I have no idea where she's hiding. What is this? Oh, it's like a little drone beetle. We could have given that one to Sprinkle. Oh wait, have we talked to her yet? Or are we still just holding this drone beetle? No, we're still holding it. Oh my goodness, okay. So we have to find Sprinkle and Judy. Okay, let's go all the way back to the museum. Make your room a rooftop. <gasps> Ooh, that could be cool. Um, my biggest tip for terraforming is like, do not be afraid to experiment. You know, like build things, destroy them, and do it over and over and over again. And like, don't, don't be scared. Also, another thing I really like to do is round off the edges, so like find ways to make it look more natural, but I'm not gonna completely say that because if you have like a sort of city style island, you might need some of those sharp edges. So that for that, from, from the, oh my gosh, I cannot speak. From that point, it depends on your aesthetic, but experimentation is definitely the biggest tip I can give. You got a scorpion island last night? Oh my gosh. A scorpion- like an island full of scorpions? Sounds like a nightmare. <laughs> Have a good evening, Jers. Thank you for coming. Alright, let's see. Is Judy in the fish exhibit? They're going for naturally yet civilized. That's- I feel that, Claire. Uh, here there's like nothing. Nope, not here. Where could she be hiding? I love the museum so much, it's so pretty. My museum is sad. Oh, Megan is here. She's wearing the the robe. Oh my gosh. Wait, are those jellyfish? Oh my goodness, the diving update. There's new exhibits. <gasps> Whoa. I love that. Happy late birthday, Nicole. Yeah, the moon jellyfish. Okay, well, Megan is here. Maybe she came with Judy, but Judy went to a different exhibit. Let's see. Oh, thank you so much, Gaming with Marianne. Oh, Max! Hi! That's true, Emily. We took a lot of pictures there yesterday. 
Oh my goodness, wait, there's a museum cafe data mine? <gasps> oh my goodness, that is the most exciting thing. I really hope we get the cafe back. We need Brewster. Brewster is one of my favorite NPCs. And then Pave too, of course. Who are your favorite NPCs? Did you know about the Beetle Fight Club? Beetle Fight Club? No, I've never heard of it. Is she looking at the fossils? My fossil section is actually complete. So... This is less sad. But where's Judy? She's just missing. Hmm. Watch it be like, at the very end I go to her house and it's like, I'm asleep. Like, she just completely snuck by us. Oh, Celeste. Oh, Judy, there she is. She was in the museum. Why Judy? I told you I would come, and here I am. To tell you the truth, I started packing right after you invited me. And now, at last, I can take a break from unpacking and start enjoying life on the island. But first, I must thank you for introducing me to my marvelous new home. You're simply the best. Oh my goodness. Is she wearing like a tube top? That's so cute. The ancient world is a never-ending source of mystery and wonder. To think, we could still unearth fossils from creatures we never even knew existed. That is pretty fascinating. That's so cute though, I'm so happy that she stays here now. Oh my goodness. Again, just gonna give another shout out to Jonathan. His Instagram account is actually called Soda Shoal. We toured his island, it was the Boardwalk Island. And he's just an amazing guy. And his island is really cool too, it has kind of a pirate theme right now. So I definitely do recommend checking out his Instagram account for more updates. Also, something that always bothered me about this room is there's no hamster. Like, there's like every villager type except for the hamster. Why don't the hamsters get love? I don't know. They're not in like the evolution chain. <laughs> Juju. Juju's her new nickname. Um, Amethyst? I don't know. I guess my island theme is kind of... Mm, I don't know. <laughs> it's whatever. I try to make lots of different ideas, especially because I make tutorial videos and stuff. I want to make ideas that can work on different types of islands. Like, I don't want to make videos that only work on one specific type of island. So I try to try different ideas when I build. So I guess my island is kind of a conglomerate collage of different aesthetics. Oh, that's so cute, Jade. It's kind of weird though when I talk to Judy because I'm like, oh, and here we have Judy. And it, I don't know, it feels weird when you say your name, but you're talking to yourself, but you're not talking to yourself, but like you're low key talking to yourself. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm actually, I'll show you the front of Niagara Falls. I haven't added the floor lights to the very back stones yet. So I have to do that. And also, this one is red instead of pink. I have to fix that. But we have the lights. And we have part of the butterfly garden. I still still haven't finished the front. But work in progress. I'm excited to do the skyline behind it, though. That should be fun. I need to add another garden light. Oh, no. Okay. Let's use our last nook is or not nook is on our last nook shopping order to get the last garden lantern we need. Gianna, you're so sweet. Thank you. Um, what am I looking for? Garden lantern. Garden. Garden. <laughs> there we go. Deep thoughts 101. Thank you so much, Gaming with Marianne. Garden bench, garden lantern. Let's order one. And that's the last thing we can order today. Sadly. Uh, fairy flower, my favorite color. It's mint green, but also pink, and I like both equally. 
so. <laughs> um, terraforming for beginners, I'd say experiment. Definitely. Like I I mean adding like little waterfalls like this, like around little corners and stuff, usually looks quite nice. I mean also layering stuff. So like I always try to create areas on different let me let me find an area I've terraformed. I I, I don't know, I'm like very like visual, which I said that earlier, but I I struggle to explain things if I can't demonstrate them. And I don't understand things if they're not demonstrated either. Like I, I need to see what I'm talking about. So here we have the fountain plaza kind type of thing, but then like you go up another layer with the terraforming, and then what I did is I have the river so it like splits open. And if you look at the map, it's basically just your traditional like island circle, but I created it on two levels to make it a bit more dynamic. So I think like playing around with lots of different levels while you're terraforming is something I personally like, but it also depends on personal preference. Like you might also really like flat islands. And like here too, I had my secret beach, which if you saw it before, I mean before it was a chaotic flower crowded mess, um, it was actually a bit longer than this, but I added this diner to the top because I feel like it just adds more depth because you can see there's a cliff on this side, there's a cliff on this side, there's the welcome sign to the diner there, and it just kind of, I wanted it to intertwine between different layers. And honestly, let me go fix those flowers right now because this is just sad. This is not what this area deserves. So I would say, um, I uh, like le levels, layers. Um, you can see also here, I have the waterfalls that are like back here, but then right at the exit, I actually made them come in an extra level. So it's like different, um, depths, I guess. Is that, is that how you describe things? <laughs> You're tearing everything down and starting from scratch? Yes, I'm extremely a visual learner, Aubrey. <laughs> Oh, you can't terraform yet? You gotta plant flowers and place fences. This is the key to terraforming. To unlocking it, at least. And where would you? And where would you? <laughs> oh, you're basing it off of Adventure Time. That's cool, basing it off of your favorite show. I really, like this secret beach area, I have no idea where this comes from. Actually, now that I think about it, I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> like, I, I really don't. Um, like, I can- the front waterfall is Niagara Falls. The beach cafe- I don't know where that came from either. I just decided I really want to make a cafe on the, my rock. And I remember while I was designing it, it was so hard. And I was getting so frustrated. And my friend was like, just give it up, like, you can't put a cafe on the rock. And I was like, no, I demand to put a cafe on this rock. I will put a cafe on this rock. I am determined. And eventually I did it, which was good. But I don't know where all of these ideas come from. I think it's just like I play around with creating an un- like, building and unbuilding, just building and destroying and like redoing and undoing so many times, and then I end up with stuff like this but yeah I have no idea pink and white seems to be a theme on accident too I, I don't even know like this too where did this come from why like why did I think about lanterns and bamboo next to the river I have absolutely no idea it just made sense in my head at the time Uh, where would you put the houses? Thank you so much, Gianna. I guess, um, the flowers by the river, I actually... Like, the area in front of my house is inspired by, like, Japanese Zen gardens. 
where you have like lots of like you have a stream with lots of like mossy rocks and stuff around it and then like the flowers like a bonsai garden i guess that that i know but some of these areas i really have no idea <laughs> but okay heading back down here Okay, Marshall's actually just standing here. What was I gonna do? We found Judy. We need to give Sprinkle the drone beetle. Oh, I was fixing the secret beach. Okay, we did that. Let's go find Sprinkle. And give her the beetle. I know she was in the plaza earlier. I don't know where she is now. And <laughs> the drone beetle. Oh, thank you so much, Emil. Hi, Chris. Use your net scorpion? Wait, what? Was there another scorpion? Oh my gosh, Gianna. You're so sweet. Oh. Um, was there a scorpion? Did I... Did I run right past it? Can I see your map? Yeah, sure. Um, it's very unfinished. But here's the basic layout we have right now. There's houses just chilling on the beach for no reason too, like just don't mind that. Is Gail one of the beach houses? No. Oh, she is. Okay, good. I moved the right house. That's always good. <gasps> hey, Nintendoc! Thank you so much for having me tonight. I just saw that, Emily. Okay. So wait, if you're if you're here, I should show you like the nice part of my island and stop running around in the chaotic part. This is the area that we're working on right now. This is the boardwalk. Um yeah, there's like some panels, some buildings, some houses. Still have to work on the beach though. Right now it's I made like this like workbench area, but it's not even supposed to be here like a picnic table to workbench. It's just because while I'm building it's easier to have it there. But right now we need to find Sprinkle so we can give her her drone beetle. I just wonder where Sprinkle is hiding. Oh, thank you. I'll, I'll try to run through more better areas of my island too. Don't look at this. Just close your eyes, okay? Here there's um my favorite spots. So there's like a fountain with some bamboo around it and at the back there's like these rivers that split with all these lanterns and then at the top there's my house which is kind of like in a forest above the waterfall so yeah that's like that's my favorite area and then the beach cafe i like but just like ignore the rest of the island okay the rest of the island does not exist <laughs> we don't talk about it where is sprinkle let's see even the museum. The museum used to be done, and now there's just like fields of benches in front of it. Also, these flowers. Yeah. We're not, we're not gonna mention that. Here's a beach cafe. <laughs> we'll just... Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Gianna. It's um... It's like 2% cute, maybe. <laughs> And then like 98% chaos. But maybe Sprinkle's in her house. Cause she was definitely at the plaza earlier. She was outside. And now she's just missing. So let's go check there. We will find her. Also, if we want to do KK song requests again, we can do that. Or we can just keep listening to Stale Cupcakes because honestly, that's a really good song. Sprinkle, she lives here, I believe. Oh, she is in her house. I didn't have to expose my entire island. Yeah, I- Do you like the border? You actually- You can't place, um, fencing, like, right on the half block at the edge of the beach. So I tried to create my own fence. And also, I really like to add lights so that everything stays kind of lit up at nighttime. So that's why I tried to incorporate the log stakes with the shell lamps. I brought a bug. 
No way. Yeah, we finally have your drone beetle for you. It'd be so much easier to find villagers if we had a phone book app. That's true. Or like in New Leaf, we actually had a megaphone. And I really wish we could get that back. Because you could actually like call, um, like if Sahara is visiting or anyone, like you could call them and ask where they are. And I really miss that. <laughs> and I don't know, everybody's wearing the robes. Did she give us a shirt a second ago? A leopard tee. Ooh, that looks kind of cool. Has a nice pattern on it. Okay, let me see. Oh my goodness, Brighton, you're so sweet. Um, I guess on Instagram probably there's some pictures. You don't have to do that though, you're so sweet. A mermaid beach hangout area, that would be really cute. We need the megaphone back. I agree. Like looking for Daisy May and stuff takes so much time. I don't have a fishing rod. <gasps> no. Okay, wait, wait. If I just run, I think there's a fishing rod up here. Why do I never have my tools with me? Like I need to just keep all of them in my hands. Um, golden axe. Is there a fishing rod here? Star net, vaulting pole, golden axe. Why? This is sad. <laughs> We're gonna lose the shark, but I'm gonna grab my fishing rod so we don't miss another one because we learn from our mistakes As long as you learn from your mistakes, it's okay to make them Build bridges on cliffs. I would love that or like tunnels and stuff Actually, I saw this really cool island where somebody actually They put the stone arch in front of a cliff and then they put black simple panels behind it So it looks like it's a cave. I thought that was a pretty cool idea. Let me see. Oh wait, what was that? That's so pretty. Autograph cards. I like that. Uh, fishing rod though. Fishing rod. We have three fishing rods, but none when we need them. Okay, thank you for coming, Christopher. Alright. Let's go ahead and head back out. Um, okay. <laughs> chaos. Absolute chaos. But surprisingly less chaos since last stream. Is she- she's so cute. What is she holding? I can like barely see. Oh my gosh, it's a little weight. Okay, I thought it was. That's so cute. She's busy lifting weights. She has her little tracksuit on too. Audie, I think Audie is too. Floria's weight is so much smaller than Audie's and that's cute too. It's just a cute detail. Like, Floria's weight is so tiny. Okay, chef's outfit. We can plant these. We don't need them right now. I'm not gonna like destroy them, but we can just place these. Let me put down some of these lilies too. And then we can catch some more bugs, and, um, yeah, <laughs> make Flick happy, I guess. This also needs to not be here. Okay, so, details. Um, at the top- oh, shooting stars. They are here. So at the top here, there's actually gonna be houses, just for anybody that wasn't here earlier. There's gonna be houses and then like simple panels boarding it, so it's kind of gonna be like a downtown beachside street. That's- that's the vibe we're going for here. Okay, so let me see. Is this a sea creature? We can't actually sell them because Nook's Cranny is closed. So I'll just put it back down. Or actually- no, yeah, yeah, no, I'm just gonna put it here. I don't really need it. We'll take a leaf bug though, flick well like that. And then, let's see. Should we go diving again? Or should we try catching some bugs? Audie's right arm is about to become buff. <laughs> True, she's just lifting those weights. Maybe there's like nighttime butterflies. I feel like there's so many bugs before. Like when you don't want them, 
There's bugs everywhere, but if you look for them, they all just disappear. Drop-off box? That's true, but the drop-off box takes a fee, so you only get like half of the money. Which, the first time I went to a tarantula island, I sold all the tarantulas with the um, with the drop- oh, mm. <laughs> whoops. I sold all the- oh, oh, <laughs> scorpion. I keep getting sidetracked. Um, I sold all the bugs with the drop-off box. So that was kind of a waste. Why is the scorpion so fast, can I just say? Okay, this requires focus. Um, but then, the worst part is, not only did I sell them using the drop-off box, but the next day Flick was in my town. So, that was sad. <laughs> But, yeah, we won't talk about that. Oh, oh. I mean, two scorpions, that's already a pretty decent profit from Flick. But let's get more for him. I love, I love. What should we name? We need to name this horseshoe crab. Hmm, I don't know. You've been using the drop off box for everything? Oh no! No, it takes away some of the money you have to sell in the shop. I mean, you can sell in the drop-off box, it's not that bad, but you do lose a bit of it. So like, if you can go inside, that's better. But also, most of the time I'm just lazy and sell stuff in the drop-off box. Okay, is there... there's no like, butterflies. I'm trying to see if there's like some emperor butterflies or something. I wonder if we go swimming again, if we'll get more pearls. Because tonight seems to be a really lucky night. Like, there's scorpions, there's pearls, we had enough simple panels. Besides scaring away all the bugs, we're doing quite well. <laughs> His name should be Glenn. Mr. Krabs. Glenn or Cam. You caught a freshwater goby? I feel like... I don't know if anyone else has had this issue, but like every river fish I catch is a loach. Like why are there so many loaches? I don't know. They're kind of worse than sea bass, to be honest. Like I don't even get sea bass as often as I get loaches. Tree bugs get scared too easy. These that's a fact. Honestly, like all of these bugs, like I was at the top of the cliff and it was just in the corner of the screen and you could still see it flying away. Where wait, where did the pearls go? Weren't they here? Wait. Oh! Oh my gosh, they're behind! Oh my gosh, my heart! I was so confused! Okay, they're behind the cage. I'm straight up gonna put them on top. That was too stressful. <laughs> okay. Um... I don't know. There's like no bugs now that we're looking. Although I said that and then there was a scorpion. Maybe I have to keep saying that and then bugs will come. There are zero bugs. <laughs> Please present scorpions. Oh no, your fishing rod broke. Um, Cuddly Wolf, I would say put your houses on the beach and then you can terraform your island and then come back and move the houses again later. Oh, whoa, that almost landed in the water. That was close. I don't even know how the slingshot like, reached it from there. Oh, a globe. That's so cute. I love like everything we've gotten from the balloons tonight. See, this is why you should carry your slingshot. I'm gonna learn from this, hopefully, and keep a slingshot with me. Okay, but not gonna lie, the simple panel doesn't look bad next to the house. We can actually get like a preview here. Like it kind of makes it look more like it's a bigger building than it is, which like with the other simple panels below it, it's gonna look even more like a cohesive building. And my houses kind of are already pastel pink and blue, so they're gonna match the boardwalk. Which is also why I wanted to make the boardwalk, like I said earlier, with these like cottagey windows, but it doesn't match the houses. So, and I'm not mad about the pastel color scheme either. It matches some of those real life tropical beachy houses. So, I'm okay with it. Um, Reese, we were actually earlier talking about doing an island advice stream this Friday, so we could visit everybody's islands and kind of just give advice and work on decorating them together. 
so stay tuned for that. Oh, Gail's thinking again. Oh, this is a good chance to run an idea by you. How would you feel about me giving you a nickname? Yeah, I mean, I'm all for nicknames. Jay Beans? <laughs> That's interesting. What do you think? I mean, sure, let's go for it. J beans. That's that's an interesting one. Oh, these beds are nice. I might I might use them in the house. I'm I thought that they would match kind of like a beach resort thing. So I was thinking this campsite is gonna go at the back and I'm gonna make like this cottage core sort of camping area thing. And then at the front of the island I'm gonna take this house and I'm gonna move it here. And then in front of it I'm gonna have like this deck. Like this huge deck and it's gonna be like a beach resort and then there's gonna be like a spa over here maybe like a tennis court or something like a beach resort area and then here there's the boardwalk and when you run all the way down there's niagara falls so i don't know i like incorporating lots of different ideas now let's see we're getting bugs there's like no bugs though so let's let's just go look for pearls Oh wait, the, the bottle. Let's see what this has. Thank you so much for coming, Prettiest Pigeon. Uh, yeah, I would love to, May. It's 4 a.m. Oh my goodness, you need to rest. While taking a stroll on the beach and soaking up that exfoliating salty air, I struck DIY gold. As they say, sharing is caring, so here you go. A golden candlestick? Oh, I already know it. Okay, I'm gonna add that to this spot here. Ooh, that means that we have a perfect square now. Also, when does Flick leave? What time is it? Okay, it's not too late. I don't want Flick to like, leave the island without me noticing. How many pearls do you need to craft the mermaid furniture anyways? Uh, one. Oh! Oh wait, if we just get some sea snails and some coral, we can already craft it. Okay, let's see. Are there any- is this a sea snail? What is this? I think it's a conch. Oh, just kidding. Okay. Sea snail and coral. Here's coral. Is this another sea snail? Okay, this is going way too smoothly. Why? Why is it- why is it going so smoothly? DIY recipes. We need one more sea snail and one more cor uh, coral. I, I feel like we can get that for sure. What's the best way to get to the front though? Maybe through here. Sea snail and coral, sea snail and coral. Nope. 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 <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Okay, never mind. You feel like your island is smaller? I think um, creating lots of smaller areas within your island definitely does make it feel a lot bigger. Okay, I think we have enough to actually craft our first mermaid item, so that's exciting. Yeah, we do. Okay, let's go make that. And then... Let me actually sell these scorpions to Flick, cause for some reason I'm like paranoid that he's gonna disappear, even though like I know that's not how life works. <gasps> Wait, if we catch one more scorpion we can make a model, but do I want a scorpion model? <laughs> I don't think I do. <laughs> um, your commissions are open, I think I'm gonna sell it. I do want to catch some diving beetles though, and I want to make a model of them for Melody. But let's sell these for now. He leaves at 5 a.m. That's what I thought. How much does he- 25,000! Yes! Thank you. Thank you for your patronage. I don't know if diving beetles are still here though. Let me see the, um, Critterpedia. Insects. Diving beetle. June, July. Oh, but they're in the daytime. Like the afternoon. Okay, so we can't get those now. Okay. Well, 
We have scorpions. Also, are we naming them Glenn? I think it's really between Glenn and Cam. Oh my gosh, Lara. Oh my gosh, <gasps> Florbean, you want to talk? Can I get your help with something? Of course, anything. Apple's always helping me out, so I bought her a present. <gasps> but now I feel funny just walking up to her with a gift out of the blue. I'm sure she would love it, though. If you mind giving it to her for me. I don't mind at all. I, I support this. Here it is. This is so cute. I love Florian Apple so much. Uh, do you think I'll be able to deliver it tomorrow? Is Apple... Oh my gosh, the thought bubble glitch. That's such an annoying glitch. Like, they they think after you talk to them. Okay, good. Apple's still awake. I... <laughs> Let's name them Frankie. <gasps> Frankie's a really cute name. Oh, Apple's actually crafting. Huh? Oh, were you talking to me? Sorry, I was way in the zone. What are you building? Well, stacked magazines. You dreamt about the idea when you fell asleep watching Maglevs in Love? It's about trains in love. Trains in love? No, Apple, what do you mean not important? You need to tell us the full story. Don't leave us on a cliffhanger. You're building a thing. You already know how to make it? Uh, apparently. I mean, yes? I'm legit so sad. I was all set to blow your mind. Let's share the recipe with everyone else. Okay, we'll, we'll accept a stack magazine recipe. It's a nice item for like adding some clutter and realism to your island anyways. Let's go give her Fleur Beans present. Oh, thank you, Peaches. What's this? You're gonna open it? <gasps> You're freaking out right now. I cannot believe it's a C. Hanton shirt. You love the style, total pop star. Should I try it on? Yeah, what does that look like? Can you like look away for a second? Oh my goodness, okay, close your eyes so the apple can change. <gasps> oh, that's cute. It looks great. Right? It's like these clothes were made for me. Oh my goodness, she's so happy about it. That's so cute. As a reward, you got me a Madras plaid shirt. Madras? Madras plaid shirt. You're really into these? I hope you jador it too. Jador it? <laughs> That's cute though. I like um the detailing on it. It has like the little belts. Uh, let's see. What does this look like? Okay, it's like a little colorful plaid shirt. That's pretty cute. Let's, um, let's- Oh wait, we have this now. <gasps> Look, we actually have pants for once. Actually, I kind of like that outfit. Let's leave that. A little shirt with the skirt. Thank you, Emily, for sharing the link in the chat to the Discord. Is it midnight already? Oh my goodness, I feel like time just flew by. I didn't even notice. But I think we did make some good progress on the front boardwalk area. Flick is still having fun with his net there. <laughs> Practicing his bug catching skills. I wish villagers could successfully catch bugs. Like they, even if they hit the bug perfectly, the bug just flies away. I feel kind of bad. Cause then they just look at it like, what? What happened? Okay, what do we have? Leopard tea. We're gonna make a mermaid thing. Let's go to the workbench. Stream time goes faster than real time. Thank you for coming, Leela. Oh, Brighton, thank you so much. 6 a.m. Oh my goodness, Spice. I I wish that I could think that you woke up early, but I'm terrified that that's not the case. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking we'll do the advice stream on Friday because I wanted to do it on Saturday, but the fishing tourney is on Saturday. So I think we might do like a multiplayer fishing tourney type thing on Saturday. 
And then on Friday, we'll do the advice stream. Uh, let's customize something. No, no, let's not. I don't even have customization stuff. Let's craft something. Let's see if we can make this mermaid clock. Oh, it opened right up to it. It The game already knew. <laughs> it knew what we were doing. And the, the iron that we're using. It's the perfect amount of iron that we actually got from a balloon present. So like, everything's just working out tonight perfectly. But yeah, I guess that that is most of what we have to do tonight. Uh, from this point on- oh, good job. <laughs> from this point on, I guess I'm just gonna be going around, cleaning flowers, catching bugs, and working on restoring sanity to the mess that is Krusty Shell. <laughs> Don't forget to tell Flurry. Did I tell Gail that her present was delivered? I don't think I told either of them. We're gonna have to go back and talk to both of them. And then I think that might be the last thing we do for tonight. But then we can work on another area tomorrow. So that should be fun. Okay, Flurry, thanks for dropping that gift off for me. So, how'd Apple react? It was a big surprise. I just remember we did talk to Gail. You picked that outfit out especially for Apple? So she really tried it on? I can't wait to see her wearing it. Yeah, she actually, she really, really loved it, Flurry. She really did. And she gave us this really cute little outfit too. So yeah, I guess that's all we have to do. <laughs> Crusty Shell. Until Seychelle looks okay, it's going to be Crusty Shell. Like right now, this is like, look, look at these, this, this is not, this is, this is crusty, <laughs> but we're going to work on restoring it. An island tour? We can do like a, a like low key island tour to end off the stream here. I don't want to, I don't want to say like island island tour because most of it is chaos, but like low key a little run through at the end of tonight's terraforming and stuff. Thank you, fairy flower. <gasps> Emily, did you really? Thank you so much. Okay, let's fill this in really quick because it's something I need to do and something I always avoid doing. And part of me is just doing this hoping another scorpion will appear, but also knowing that's probably fairly unlikely. But I think tonight was actually a pretty eventful night. Like, we got pearls, our first mermaid item, we got made progress on the boardwalk. I, f I made something asymmetrical. Can we just talk about that for a second? Asymmetry on Seychelle. Oh my goodness. Is this even, like, the same world anymore? <laughs> then we do have Audie lifting some weights. We got to settle a villager fight. Is she standing? Okay, I'm sorry, Audie. I just have to move you a little. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let me just, there we go. Um, but yeah, no, I think we've made a decent amount of progress. I just have to clean up everything <laughs> again, because <laughs> chaos is always spreading. And I wanted to make like a little canal. So like there's a river going up here with like brick path next to it, but it just didn't, it didn't look great. Like I built bridges and everything. I really, I finished the whole design for it, but I just destroyed it instantly. But I don't know. It's um, you gotta work at your own pace, I guess. Gail is so controversial. <laughs> um, my Discord, we can, we can get a link um, to the Discord, let me see. Emily did it. Okay, yeah, Emily just sent a link to the Discord. Thank you, Emily. You really tried to make your island look good, but you don't know what to do. That's- that's a mood. I think just, um, don't- don't try to, like, go straight into the whole island at once. Like, what I'm trying to do lately with my island design is, like, you can see, like, this boardwalk right here looks- besides the houses not being at the top, this is pretty much done. And also the stalls aren't- okay, well, I said pretty much, not completely, but it's like a small area because you can see that this area is unfinished and then the area on the other side is unfinished as well. 
but I think it's important to just kind of work in smaller bits and just put a lot of detail into that one bit and redo it as many times as you feel the need to instead of like trying to instantly go into like the entire island because I feel like at first I kind of tried to do that like I, got, I kept getting distracted I didn't work on one area at once and it really slowed down my ability to work on my island so that's advice I wish I gave myself three months ago <laughs> uh that's true Claire um you can look for inspiration but also adding your own unique touch can also be really nice you got the mermaid wall clock DIY too another thing is when you um oh wait what was I gonna oh yeah if you want to go diving tonight like if you're playing right now tonight's for some reason a really good night to go diving so I suggest doing that too so yeah now that we've done all that let's just do like a updated kind of town tour very 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 work in progress town tour like I'm just gonna expose we're not even gonna pretend that this mess isn't here like we're not <laughs> We're gonna be honest here. So in the back corner, this is kind of where I'm gonna create this multi-level campsite, which is why there's a hole down there at the bottom, like just a crater in the ground. So I wanna have like, kind of like an onsen type of, uh, not onsen, like hot springs, I guess. Hot springs area, so it's kind of like hot springs in the mountains of like a bamboo forest. And that's gonna be like a resort where villagers come to get away. Down here, there's gonna be a campsite, which is actually like two levels. So the campsite's at the very top, and then at the bottom, we do have um, little waterfalls and streams that are gonna go down there. All of these houses in front are gonna be moved. Then at the very back, I'm gonna make an observation deck here, and then have a forced perspective down there. Not that, but a different forced perspective. I'm gonna space out the villager houses and create a forced perspective train track going between them, so using these, these are called throwback containers, I'm actually going to make a forced perspective train track that goes between these houses. So instead of waterfalls, it's going to be trains. So you like, you look down and it looks like you're walking over a bridge over the train tracks. If we continue to the side here, we do have the edge of the bamboo forest, which I'm going to change up the flowers and bushes to make everything a bit more natural and then up here we have my house, which clearly my front yard is not done, it's a mess. But there's my house, then we have some bushes and trees, and very unfinished design there. <laughs> here we have the Zen Force Perspective, which I did make a, a tutorial on this, so feel free to check that out. And then if we go down here, we have the Secret Beach. So there's like this little diner, which I thought when we do the Seychelles after parties, it would be nice to have some more sort of party areas where you can all hang out together. So that's why I added this. And then at the back, we do actually have the secret beach. So you can go down this path here. We have the benches. And then all the way back is the beach here, which has a pretty simple design. There's a little Totoro sketch in the sand. Always a nice touch. And I do like all the lights back here. Now, if we- oh, did not mean to do that. If we head back down here, this is where I used to have like this little garden path, but I decided I want to create something kind of like Jurassic Park in front of the museum. So I want it to be like an outdoor museum exhibit, and somehow I want to make it just as interesting to look at as the inside of the museum, which is a very, 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 very high standard to put yourself up to. But then around the museum, I have these waterfalls, and there's also these little dinosaurs on the cliffs of the waterfall. So that's kind of how I did the terraforming around the museum. And then there's also some trees at the back just to make it look a bit more natural instead of just having the cliffs end. Then we do have some little flowers here. Here's Spencer's favorite fossil, which I do think looks quite grand at the entrance there. I might change the path though. I want to change the front bit, I think, but I like the terraforming around it. Then if we continue down here, you have all these benches. I <laughs> We, we, we won't talk about this. Able Sisters, it's not staying here. It's just sitting here while I change some stuff. And then we have Flower Chaos. 
absolute flower chaos. And then back here, honestly, definitely watch the cafe video to see what this area is supposed to look like. This is, this is not fair for this area. There's too many flowers back here. The rock, I, this is bad. I changed the pattern. It, I think this used to be a decking, which is why there's just mushrooms on the ground. Let's just kick that off really quick. Uh, yeah, unfortunately my hair isn't pink in real life. I wish. That would be really cool. Maybe in the future. <laughs> here there's like a little concert area where there's like live music for the cafe. And then through here is actually a beach cafe. This area... Oh, this was... Much effort went into creating this. Like coming up with the idea and everything, but... I really love the way it turned out. Like it's like my favorite place on the island. So, I do have a video, like, explaining in detail how to create it step by step with a list of everything you need and all that good stuff, so if you like it, feel free to check that out. There's also a little shell fountain here. Um, but yeah, no, I love this area. I have nothing else to say about it other than I love it. Now, if we continue down through the flowers here, this is where I want to create, like, a little diving ramp. I think that could look quite cute. And then chaos, 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 chaos. Okay, I think wrapping around here is literally just chaos. I don't think there's... Okay, you know, there's um, the front of the waterfall, which we saw earlier. Still incomplete, but um, this area is inspired by Niagara Falls, which is why I tried to give the horseshoe, like, it's iconic... The horseshoe? The waterfall? It's iconic horseshoe shape. So that's why it's kind of, like, wrapped around like that, which... Definitely took a lot of experimentation trying to come up with how to do that because you can't really terraform crescent shapes in waterfalls. But we found a way to make it work. And then from the side here, this is supposed to represent the American side looking at the waterfall. So that's why you kind of have like this weird side angle of it. Then we have little alleyway here where there's just some benches, little observation tower. I really like the color scheme here, like the dark grays and like neutral tones. I'm quite pleased. I want to change this with a black drink machine though, so like if anybody has a black drink machine, let me know. And also if anybody has a black drink machine and wants a white drink machine, although I kind of want to use this for another area. But I mean like I'd be- I'm, I don't know, wait, what drink machine color do I have? I don't know what I have to trade. I'll have to see. I'll have- I'll go into my um, resident services in a second and see what color I have, but I do want to use a black one there. Then back there, this is gonna be... Okay, so it's based on the Toronto skyline, because when you look at Niagara Falls from the America side, that's what you see. But, I added a Statue of Liberty, because Niagara Falls is also partly in New York, so that just kind of alludes to the effect of New York State too. And that's not done, obviously, I'm not just gonna put three servers at the ground there. Um, but that's for a future video. Then here we do have another little street on the other side of the waterfall. I tried to experiment with some different color lights, so you can see there's one red light here. I still- I think what I'm gonna do is like for holidays, so like at Halloween I'm gonna use like green, orange, purple lights for Christmas like red and green, and I'm gonna change the lights on Niagara Falls based on the holiday. Because I think that would just add like an extra layer of detail, which I'm all about that. Then here we do have Nook's Cranny. It used to be cute. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I just- I had like this little river back here and you would sit on the benches and it, it looked nice back in the day. It's been a bit demolished since then. The entrance is inspired by my Zen Plaza entrance video. It's just everything's been replaced. But um, the Zen Plaza is actually the area back here that we saw. So that's- that's this. I just moved it, but... I might change it back to that again, because I like that a lot. And then we end our tour back at the boardwalk again that we made tonight. Kind of. We made some of it tonight. We basically just moved the houses in, but you know, it's whatever. So yeah, it's been a pretty chill night. Thank you everybody for coming and hanging out for a while. It's definitely been a very fun stream, so I'll see you all again soon. I think we might do these sort of chill terraforming and gameplay type streams a bit more often because
pretty fun just hanging out. Thank you for coming, everyone. I'll see you soon. Love you all, and I hope that you have a wonderful evening. Bye, everybody. Uh, yes, Yoart, I am going on Discord now. <laughs> yes, Jenna, I do remember you. Oh, wait, I'm just gonna... Oh, no, I'm sorry, Gaming with Marianne. <gasps> Thank you, Solar Kawaii. Uh, yes, I'd love to visit your crazy chaotic island, Joy. Yes, I remember you, May. A before and after. That could be cool, Cuddly Wolf, especially since the island is so chaotic. I could like show like before the area and then just renovate it and then show it again after. Like transformation. Chaos Island Transformation, or Krusty Shell Transforming to Seychelle. I'm always down for new ideas. Alright. Bye everybody. Thank you again for coming. Oh wait, that's the wrong screen. There we go. <laughs>